Uh, sorry about the delay. We're gonna get started here in about a minute or two. Um, actually, we might roll over to the second song, whichever's in the, the soundtrack, the playlist. Um, currently, I'm working on downloading Black Mesa in the background. I forgot to do that. <laughs> so we have, I have a hundred, no, I have a gig, about a seven gigabytes. So we'll let that probably download in the background while we're launching up episode two. I don't think it will be that intensive that it will actually deter performance. Uh, so after we finish. Half-Life Episode 2. Also, hi everyone. After we finish Episode 2, we're going to watch the Alex trailer, which I should have downloaded then, I just realized that. Uh, following that, we're going to start Black Mesa. Those are the plans for today. It's a little late, it's a little bit of a late stream. Uh, I took a six hour nap. <laughs> Came home, dropped my stuff, and I was like, I'm just gonna take a 30 minute nap, and you know how those turn to, to four hours, to six hours. Even longer. I got lucky midway through. Uh, so give me a couple minutes here while I get everything sort of geared up and ready to go, and we'll get started. Also, I just realized that probably majorly drowned me out. I didn't realize that the music was so loud, I'm sorry. Anyways, we'll get started in just a sec. Sorry for the delay. Oh look, a new Franker Face emotes actually come up on chat. I don't know if they would. We got new Franker Face emotes because I didn't... Before I wasn't using the public library and finally I decided why not. It's just the public library is already there. So we got all of these wonderful emotes like... Ah, and whack. <laughs> whack. Alright. <laughs> Let's get the game started here. Before the next song starts. Oh, and the next song started. Half-Life 2. Episode 2. Launch. FTL soundtrack. Quiet. Emotes! Emotes indeed. New emotes that we have. New emotes that we share. <laughs> I like a lot of these too. I mean, we got we got a gnome which is fitting for yesterday. I mean, we only use gnomes, but I don't know. And what else we got? We got Shrek. Everyone likes Shrek. We got a, a Tom. Got a Patrick, which Wasabi already said he loves. <laughs> Got a Pikachu! Look at that Pikachu laughing! He's adorable! I wish I could see... You know what, I'm gonna look for these, these 
little moments in the game where like it's sitting here. I wish I could have this as a live wallpaper. If you've ever used Wallpaper Engine, it's fantastic. I would love this as Wallpaper Engine, or through Wallpaper Engine. Look at the little engine shake! That's phenomenal. That's fantastic. Maybe not the guy. Maybe not the guy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's make sure that's not deafening loud. That should be good. Load game! Our mutual friend, we just got to the compound. We were supposed to launch a rocket, for some reason. Are you going to play Black Mesa at some point? Literally just downloaded it. It's in the background. It's it's 7 gigabytes, so hopefully it's going to be done soon. But literally, going to play that right after we watch the Alex trailer. So this, Alex trailer, Black Mesa. That's our plan for today. We'll see how far we get. It is a little late because I slept in by accident, I'm sorry. Um, I'll stay up probably till midnight, so it's kind of like a 4-5 to five hour stream tonight. I might be overshooting that though, so three to four hours, let's say that. Hi. Oh, both headphones on, I forgot about that. Turn down the volume, so I can actually hear. But you guys hear the same volume. All right, let's get going. Hi. Go on without us. We got stuff to do. Uh oh. oh no, what's that? Well, now what? I'm pretty sure this one All right, back to work, everyone. It's just another fault alarm in the okay, secondary darling. silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. <laughs> it's just a false alarm. Doggo! Bye, Doggo. So, Ooh. have you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? It's an AR-2. No. Oh, it's the Overwatch rifle. No, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. <laughs> that guy. See, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was so do you know what the alternative fire method does on the AR-2? Yes. It kills hunters. Oh. How did you city folk kill hunters? We sure as hell didn't use guns. We would just wrestle hunters to the ground with our bare hands. <laughs> we used to kill 10, 20 a day, just using my fists. Oh, so when you're out in the field, you're going to be punching hunters? In the field? I'm not going out in the field. I'm a radio operator. Everyone's on the field. That's it. Leave. You don't need to be here, and I'm not going to continue the lesson until you leave. I'm staying right here. <laughs> I am serious. Leave. No one wants to hear. Get out. Oh, I guess that's the end of the conversation. I'm not going to continue until you leave. I'm wondering if you ever leaves. Oh, what are you so angry Excuse about? Excuse me. Why do you look so angry? No time now, Doc. Hey. 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 Where are you going? Where are you going? So I love these little moments right here at like bases. Here we go. Can't leave now, can ya? Oh, his face switched. Alright, he's angry. Okay, let's get going. Let's get through that door. Can I go through here? Nope. Oh, look at this little tiny box. Oh, hey. Hey, look at this! I did not expect to find him right here. <laughs> not at all. Sweetheart, we're together now. That's all that matters. Can you mention the holes in your back? Look at you, son. I knew you both stayed together. You could get through anything. Yeah. Raw. Team. Yeah. Well, that's good because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our Sorry. part. Dad. Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> oh, I see what he means. <laughs> it took What's, me a goddamn second. What happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Uh, she what died. Looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, Thanks to these guys. Dr. Kleiner. Huh? We should get this data huh? right away. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you think they were still competing for grant money? <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the combine? Super portal. I'm not sure what that is. Will be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're Oof. ready for it. I'm sorry, we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're gonna go. I'm just so glad to have you back. <laughs> I'm glad to be back. <sighs> oh! It's 
his friend. It's our friend. God, I forgot that facehugger's name. Oh, <laughs> he's talking to him. <laughs> yeah, I love that low guy. My dear, oh, he's in the rocket. Wait, he's in the rocket. A delight to see you here at last. I'm Gordon. I see Hi. you in the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data. Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Hi. Fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay Ooh, a give, moment, give. I'll never hear the end of it. That's right, that's what we need. Data packet right where I send the rocket towards that, I believe. We've got a ton of data. Or at least we're using a lot of data is, they have. It was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Yes. Just let me start the decoding process. And then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes. Of course. Another alarm? Oh. What next in the parade of constant interruptions? Hello, hello, <laughs> but this alarm's a rail. Anyone? <sighs> oh, alarms all day. Damn crows at Good the luck, buddy. the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Go take care of those crows. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Sure. Am I going up? Or am I staying down? Wait. Oh, I'm going down. Freeman. Yes. Bye, guys. Glass you... doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. That's fine. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Oh, well, he's a lot nicer. Well, he's not Little fighting. Raya let you into the secondary silo. Got it. Secondary silo. Down we go. I have a feeling it's not just crows. Is that a bad intu or a bad intuition? Bad uh idea. This is Dr. Magnuson. Since the secondary silo staff seem incapable of solving their little crow problem, you will be happy to hear we have put the popular Dr. Freeman on the job. Woo! We That's all us. look forward to his remedy. And I look forward to hearing the staff's excuses for why they couldn't handle it themselves. Thank you for your patience. Oh. Oh. I wear protection needed in case of emergency break glass. Enough! Friend or otherwise ox unauthorized access, use of the emergency override will be dealt with summarily. Dr. M. No, well, I guess that's our only way. Supply. All right, off we go. Sorry. Oh, God, that was a horrifying well sound. Met. Well met. Okay, I thought you were gonna kill us. Jesus. Hi. Freeman. The Magnuson has instructed me to admit you into the secondary silo. Who are you? The secondary silo can be reached through here. Uria? Uria? Thank you for laying us through. He's a doctor! Uria level 9. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Oh! Shoot. Alright. Thank you for letting us through. Let's see what lies awake. I hope it's just crows. Maybe we're just gonna have a crow shooting match. Make those crows pay. Another one. False alarm. Sake, Freeman, what is taking you so long? Oh, I cannot concentrate with all of this racket. I'm sorry. Feather beans are the most persistent I have ever. Wait, what is this? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, okay, God! 
Not a false alarm. How to tell the others? Big deadly charger alert. Not a drill. Oh, Jesus. They are playing around. Yeah, big old O. This is bad. There's like three of them. Oh, it's us. Run, run, run! Uh, use what they told us. Use this thing. Woo! Get another one. Oh, I hear manhex. Woo! There he is, running around up there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Three, okay. There might be more, so let's stay caution. Put caution to the wind. Wait, don't put caution to the wind. Stay cautious. Where's that guy who said he would wrestle down hunters? Let's get him in here. <laughs> let's get him wrestling these hunters. God. Uh, I need a way up. This way is like up. Gotta get up to here. Ah, I see. Shoot. Yeah, and we run up. It why can't it have just been crows? Ooh, carbine! Jesus! Uh, barrel. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey, barrel. There we go. Need a gun. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a lot louder than I expected. You got it. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh. Oh. Hey. I'm so glad they taught us that little fun fact about killing these things. That makes it a hell of a lot easier. Oh. I just want their ultimate fire so we can deal with more hunters. If I can get that off these guys, that will be fantastic. I don't know if we have to go, we have to go down there, don't we? Uh, or do we? No. Okay, down there we go. Ooh. No missing texture, thank god. We're on it. I went in a circle. So that means they're here. They're on either 
This is like the first group where they're pretty much here. I worry about the Striders. You saw me Striders were headed this way. I can hear it's your voice! What is that thing? Oh, it's an automatic gun. Okay, run! I don't know how to get in there. There's this room, but it doesn't seem like we can actually access that. This is obviously the wrong way. We gotta go around. <laughs> yes, we're still alive. Oh, he's an angry boy. Uh, up there, perhaps? That I'm seeing. Explosives at it. I don't know what that would do. That's the way we came up. If you can hear me, Freeman, for God's sake, close the overhead silo door. Trying to. Do we toss explosives at it? Seems like a bad idea. Very bad idea. Taking a lot of damage from that thing, too. Oh, glass is broken. There we go, that's okay. Close? Whew, okay. Hunter's gonna get through, I guarantee. Oh, I saw a, uh, advisor. Some people hop down, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, that's ours. <laughs> that's all I get for shooting through. Get him, duck! Very regrettably. Captain Med Dad? Dad? Take this med kit. Yes, Thank sir. you. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes. yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. Oh, let's do it. We'll head right over. Yes. Go, 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 go. No? Oh. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor. Oh. At the side of the Sure thing. 
go down. Yeah, then got them. Client told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. Judith. Again? I swear, that girl's gonna... That dog is gonna betray us in one way or another. That's what I think it is, Judas. Oh my god, Judas, betrayal. Oh my god, I just realized that. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work. What a fitting name. We're discovered by the combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short, we may have been spotted. Oh, this is the same one we already saw. Is this it? I should never have let him go. There was no stopping her, do I? Wait a moment. There's Wait something moment. else here. Oh, Borealis. The Borealis. Good. Yeah, God. Aperture. Incredible. What? You've seen this the in Portal. Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Who believed the Borealis would ever be seen again? It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, That's a cool we can use it against the Combine. Did you know yeah, what? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Has Black Mesa taught you anything? <laughs> There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. I have no clue what that ship is. I just remember seeing it in Portal and like, it's an Easter egg apparently. I was like, oh, it's a Half-Life Easter egg. I don't know what that is. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But it's a combine catcher. He'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure that... won't take that chance. I'm going out. Dad! Now, Eli... The only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. Yeah, no she kidding. Again. The particulars of the oh, look at the family. family. You know everything about the resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. Agreed. We'll get her back. We got this. Kleiner, I don't really want to get her back. Can we, do we have to? The decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, <laughs> Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Oh, so he's still decoding that thing. All right. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not in the black mesa. Dad. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Ooh. Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. He's not right to this. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Yes. Gordon, you keep an eye on him. Yes. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Time for the old chat. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. Oh, God. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual I think? friend. Ah, Mr. G-Man. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world Perhaps. went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. God damn it. He's literally, yeah, he... Known when he rescued her. Made her say that. damn reason. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance 
Um, cool. Here you go. It's a fast tea. Is everything all right? Yes. There's nothing. Oh. Ah, right. wait. <laughs> wait, I can't get out. Okay. <laughs> There's no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. Right. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found a perfect use for you. Sorry. Follow me. We have a use. We'll, uh, you guys good? We'll talk later. I'll Sounds good. With you in a, bit. a plan. A plan, perhaps. With the duck. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. Don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. What is this thing? Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to not race. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine oh. in your hands. Ooh. We call it the Magnuson device. There's lots of my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed <laughs> to please the personnel. We shoot it over and then we shoot. Warm up the delivery port. What it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Ooh. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for Easy launching enough. the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears out that little problem. That's our grab again. Follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Let's do it! I see... Kinematics. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field... God, it's, we'll I like the spikes on its arms. Oh, devices nice legs. You need ...through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. That's right. Toss it to wood. There you go. Easy. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. That makes now, sense. Let's move on to a more challenging task. Oh, there's more? Uriah, oh, shoot. Send the target to the far end of the rail. Oh, look, it's on a train. Oh, God. <laughs> Very well. Try it now. Good shot. Oh, overshot. Shoot. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? A little bit. I regret not getting on the first try. Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Look at that, there you go. I think so, as long as we line up our... Well, as long as we line it up with our crosshairs. Oh, well, actually, we have to. It has a little bit of an arc to it, so we can't quite do that yet. A little bit of an arc. Let's get the shooting part down. Yep, ready. Had enough? Yep. Your car is fueled and ready to go. Ooh! Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesins. Do you oh, want and Freeman, these to if be? You pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. <laughs> you know the one I mean. You haven't forgiven us, sir. Microwave casserole. <gasps> no, you didn't remember that. Oh, no. <laughs> we broke the microwave with the casseroles. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> as long as he forgives us, that's all that matters. My God. I feel awful about that. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, over here. What you got in the back? Taking a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Oh, that's nice. 
tweak your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Ooh. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Thank you. Now check this map. You are here. Right thank, here the thank the God. Valley. They said that. Rest I had no up clue. North by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. Okay. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. I like this dude. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. Got it. Let's hit it. Perimeter's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. I think this is the sawmill here, yeah. There. So, they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. Good man. <laughs> Counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, you are the whole here. launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Ooh, now, hunters too. What Jeez. I want you to do. Attention. Uh oh. North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider oh, approaching God. from the cranes. God. Defensive positions, go. From the cranes? Uh, okay, oh, this way. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Everyone ready? We need to stop on gear. Remember, we can distract them all from the cranes now. Oh, I'm a bad shot. Why did they give me this job? Oh, I thought we hit that one. Shoot. Yes. Right, god damn. You pick up three at my imaginary mansion. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Thank you. Don't take out our bum. Woo! Oh, I land that too. Shoot. That shot, that shot. Woo! <laughs> one more, one more. No! <laughs> Shoot! Oh, all of our friends are dead. Alright, let's reload that one. <laughs> all of our friends died. <laughs> I keep like hitting him on the hole, but not actually getting through him. Oh Jesus! Alright, let's take another. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Yeah! I'm seeing this. Yes! Yes! Woo! Okay, so there's gonna be a different one somewhere. Earlier on, this guy exploded the base, I believe. Oh, Jesus! There goes our uh, retriever. No! Okay, we gotta retreat.
be this guy. Good. Put this on the car and get going. Oh, there's two of you guys. No. No. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All of our friends are dead. Keep an eye out. Looks like hunters are traveling with the striders. They're working in packs. Let's get a new bomb on us. We'll keep this place stacked with hell. Now we have a strider coming in from the water tower. Water tower, got it. Let's get that on the HUD. In there. Oh, I hate you guys. Oh, we're out of shots. Oh, that means we get one shot of this. No! Oh, they knocked it off! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Time to go. Jesus. We gotta kill those hunters with the car. Backing out of here. God, those explosives. I'll tell you what. Okay, let's get another bomb right quick. Might be able to get him before he blows this place up. Oh, you damn hunter. One more, one more. Four places to split up. Yes! Okay, they have two. There's two on the map, so we gotta get one more. There's a sawmill. Place out. Oh no, he's shooting. Oh god, right in our face. You <laughs> bastard. One, good. I'm not gonna shoot this. Maybe not. One more. Now those defenses are down. Can we shoot this? Yes! Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, in the car. Now let's take a spare. Let's kill this hunter. Uh, they said sawmill? Yeah, so behind us. Oh, two of them! Excellent. Specifically what you see the sawmill, right. Right, not, not, not the current one. That one's long gone. <laughs> Shoot, I think we got stepped on. Come 
I want to run these guys over. I want to run you over. Oh, so we're out of grenades. Grenade launchers, I should say. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Good. Very good. Okay. Do we still have the thing on our back? Yeah, we do. <gasps> nice. You're downed. Two to go. Uh, let's get a bomb while we're out here. Because there's no at the water mill. A strider has been spotted by the crane. Trying to pull a grenade live to me, <laughs> live grenade to me. I was trying to hopefully pick it up by the time that I can get it, but it uh, didn't snap to our gun yet. Uh, we're not gonna deal with them yet. I want to deal with the closer ones. Let's go this way. This mission is chaotic, you can say that again. My god. It's phenomenal and chaotic. Oh god, our car went far! Pushing the car to the limit. Not that far away base. No! That's what we get for taking our time. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, oh boy. Okay, we gotta get another bomb. There's two here. Here we go. Get the bomb. Bomb. I hope we don't actually have a huge penalty if we let some of these die. I'm sure there's, you know, achievement thing for getting all of them, but... Eh. As long as I can <laughs> keep some of that, I'm not going for 100% anyway. Oh, that's all this was? Oh, I thought you were another Strider, you damn hunter. What now? There it is. Another Strider from the water tower. Try to hit those hunters. Why are you squatting? Why are you squatting? No, bad. Oh, you're gonna pull that up, aren't you? No, <laughs> yeah, you are. Let's back it up. To before, we were here. Oh, shoot. We were really far back. Just before he squats up on that building. Whew. This is a shit show. <laughs> Die! <laughs> that guy. Put you on here. Nope, nope, I put it on the car! God damn it. Even more shires? Oh boy! I'm excited. Let's 
Don't let him destroy our building yet. It wasn't already ugly, right? Right? Let's go get some more gear. Thought we can. Talk about some senseless optimism. Ah, eh, keeping you motivated, I guess. I guess. We'll see if he's squatting already. Hopefully he's not squatting. Now there's one at the sawmill. Yeah, that or demotivates you. You're not squatting yet. What is on? Let's go. We cannot mess up this shot. Good. Next. We're gonna deal with the water tower one next. Because that one has more distance to travel. Or that one has less distance to travel. Woo! Doesn't look like he's squatting. Which is a good sign. Looks like he's actually going the long way around. Which is fine for us. Except one of them might have a chance at the water tower before we get him. Oh god, don't squat on us. Yes! How far did he get? Whoa, he got far! Wait a moment. Good. Back to the watermill. Shoot! Got it, got it, got it. He got them long strides. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Oh god, the sounds. Car, car, car. Give me, give me, give me. Got him. Ooh, smooth. Need another bomb. Come here, Let's move. Okay, we're gonna take the water tower one first, again. Shoot! Those damn hunters love hugging the legs. It's one. I don't know where his buddy is. We might have taken him out already. One to go, let's grab a bomb from here. They learn from playing Dark Souls, hug the booty. I've never played Dark Souls, I'm not familiar with that. Turn. And let's go. They got most of the hunters, they got one of the hunters. Fine. Oh, I don't jump the bomb. Is that it? Oh. Good work, everyone. 
defense of the armaments. <laughs> Many deaths, but we're still fine. Why? Don't! No! Leave them here! Reports! Woo! Hey! Gordon Freeman! Big cheers! Woo! Thanks, Freeman! Good going! Wow, Gordon! You were amazing out there! Come on! That's all. <laughs> that was satisfying. That was awesome. I love that little fight. Uh. Alright. Now the missile time. Now time for the missile. Hard to see what that entails. In its final stages. The portal's close to opening. T minus one. Sure we'll be in time to stop it. Complete. Tracking beacon. Oh, there's another bit of crust we can ignore. Are you guys tired because you had to load the missiles up? I'm sure you guys are. Poor dudes. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. You know it. That's a good device. Bravo. To thank you personally for saving my rocket. Thank us for the. Thank you. The casserole. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry about the casserole. Chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. Wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. <laughs> Let's go to the control room. We can get a great Paint. Well, here we are again. Here we go. Rocket time. Got a blast. Oh, I guess this is coming with us. Would you like this? While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. I found an old helicopter. Moment, huh? <laughs> I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. I guess you see those last time. Why not? That's certainly not worth scuttling up. At last. Oh, Hi. Ooh. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Let's launch it ready to start for the Strider Skater again. More Striders. Gordon should have the honor. You're here, no <gasps> they brought the thing from me. They brought the thing. It's all yours, Gordon. I'm launching it. I'm launching it. What? No. <laughs> Boom. Look, the dance! Congratulations, everyone. Power to main thrusters. Steady on. E minus ten. Oh, should I wash them back here? Eight, seven, seven, six, five, steady. Steady. Four, three, two. I'm ready! Deep breaths. <laughs> now, now it is still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. You thought I was going to sky? I thought so too. I was worried. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium Resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Not even shoot it down. What if, what if Strider came over here and just Magnuson smacked it down? And I will need to keep a Give close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up, I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, <laughs> I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. I'll hold it to you with a gun. Indeed. I'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold up. Oh, a second. there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't so. be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right oh. there, Alex. We're gonna have a choice with Alex, aren't we? Thanks for everything you've done for Alex, for all of us. 
I couldn't be Blow prouder if you were my own son. Now, when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Is he going traitor? I have no idea. I think given the choice, if we were given a choice, I think I'm going to blow it up. Because I, that hurts G-Man. But, I don't know if we necessarily want to hurt him. It's a resistance of anything. A resistance against him. Woo! Yes! <laughs> Happy dog. <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. He saw a squirrel. He's gonna rip that damn thing's head off. Jesus. <laughs> No, he's a kind dog. Never mind. He won't do that. He's going somewhere, though. He found something. Oh, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. I want to drive! I'll be all right. No, I don't want to drive. Is that a hindy? Your mother would be so proud. The top of it looks familiar from Metal Gear. Come on, Gordon. <laughs> Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. I'm just seeing going on. Look at them! Gordon! Oh, God. Oh no! Give us a choice. Wake up. Wake up. Oh god. We saw one of them earlier. We saw him upstairs. Oh, don't you dare take him. Destroy him! Beat the shit out of him! Yes! No! Oh god, please. Dog! Something? There's two of them? Oh my god! I love you, Eric. Close your eyes, honey! Oh, Jesus. No! Oh my god, no! No! We're next. Gordon! Yes! Get him, dog! Beat the shit out of him! Fucking space jelly beans. Oh, God. God. Dad. Dad. Dad, please. Dog is not a gentle dog, you're right. Oh, my God. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, my God. Now we know what dogs are. <laughs> Alright, let me, um, real quick, I gotta hide this. <laughs> Not there! God! <laughs> no! <laughs> we have a job to do, though! You can't stop us there! Getting in the helicopter at the very least, so we're on route to the Borealis. Well, at the very least, we know where we're headed. We know what Half Life 3 was supposed to entail. Or at least, maybe what Half Life Alex would entail. Jesus! God. So. Her dad's dead. <laughs> Because of those damned visors, I can't stand those jelly beans of death. I think there's a Half-Life 
two, episode three. No, no, there's not. This is the last one. This was technically the last game that was released, as far as I know. Um, there's like Blue Shift and Opposing Force, but those are expansives of Half-Life 1. This is, was the last game, and I can see why a lot of people were like, can we get a Half-Life 3? Can we please continue? Can we, can we go on? Because after an end like that, my god. <laughs> my god. You want to see what happens, you want to see the continuation, and how long has it been since this release? Let's, let's get some dates. Half... God, Half-Life 2, Episode 2, release dates. This came out in 2007, <laughs> so it has been 9, 10, 11, 12 years, 12 years since the last time we've had anything Half-Life official. Um, of course, we've had Black Mesa, which we might check out a little bit today. We should have a little bit of time for today. <laughs> my god. I feel awful for the fans having to deal with that amount of weights. Just to be like, you know what? The series is dead. It's not coming back. That would have been terrible to think. Whew! What a game. What a game. So now, now what we're gonna do? We'll go and close this down. And though we'll never be in the third? Who knows? Maybe if Half-Life Alex sells extremely well, which it has. It's been selling extremely- it's been selling like hotcakes. They ran out of their peripheral, or at least they're running really low on the peripheral. Oh, we got this VR thing? This VR thing is phenomenal. I think it's gonna be fantastic. The fact that they are selling so many headsets, they're selling an astronomical amount of headsets. Astronomical amount of headsets. I think this is at least gonna show some, um, some desire in the series, some <laughs> some support from the fan base at the very least. I bought one. I know Wasabi bought one. Spagoolers picked up a vibe. I mean, so many of the streamer friends that I know at the very least, along with casual players and anyone else that was a fan of the series, I'm sure is picking up a headset as close as they can. So, I think while it is just a VR thing, it's gonna be a full-fledged VR game, I think I'm excited. I'm excited for the very least. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, actually, we're gonna pull up the announcement. So, I'm gonna see how nicely we can pull this up. Um, hopefully fairly nicely. Did I... Oh, it turned off hardware acceleration. Give me just a moment here. Just a moment. Kit Boga. Let's play Gmod? No. <laughs> no. I'm gonna pull up my settings real quick. I gotta turn off hardware acceleration, so OBS can actually capture a browser window. I have to relaunch. Sorry about the music. Sorry. Right. Now I should actually be able to capture it. Uh, hey OBS, can you see my window now? Uh, Chrome? Aha! And you can see my... You can see my, uh... Bookmarks. How do I have my bookmarks? There you go. Um, we just had it open. Here it is. And full screen. I had it on 1440p, and I had it preloaded, so I was like, this is gonna work great! Now I don't know so much. <laughs> Loading! Let me turn it off. 1440. See, if I would have prepared, I would have turned off hardware acceleration ahead of time. Oh no, it's already off! That'd be great. Is that also fitted? That's not even fitted to the right size. Why do I have it so... Look at this. Oh, shoot. Look at this all cropped away. Look at this announcement trailer. You got bookmarks? I see, I see, I do have bookmarks. What? I don't know, but bookmarks. I have just random bookmarks. Um, I know one is CWC because I was watching, um, <laughs> it was on it anyway for the longest time. Alright, let's watch this. Now that we have an idea, now that we've played the series, I had no clue what to expect of this announcement trailer before. I did not understand the purpose of it. I mean, not the purpose of it. I didn't understand anything that was in here. I was like, oh, this looks really pretty and I can't wait for it to be a VR title. I gotta said, I said, I gotta hide them as in accusing them of, I mean, Factorio, some school stuff, username, one hour, one life, or no, one hour, pitch perfect stuff. I mean, there's nothing bad on here, I just don't want to show them. There's no reason to show off my bookmarks, it's not like there's nefarious stuff on there. Yeah, yeah, I can watch again! What's up, Wasabi? Yeah, you finally watch again. So beat Half-Life 2, Episode 2. I can't find Half-Life Half uh, 3 anywhere, do you know where I can pick that up? Um, it left on a really intense cliffhanger. So, um, I'm trying to look up for the next game, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Do you know where I can find it, Wasabi? <laughs> Alright, let's get this going. 
Steam VR. I'm excited. At the game store, sh shut up. <laughs> Face hunters. Oh, or maybe not. I love facehuggers now. Yes! Alex? I hope they didn't Alex, lose their little dance. So what's the plan? Oh wait, are we Alex? Get this weapon. What we're doing here could change things forever. This weapon, it's the Borealis. There's no straight shot to the vault. Oh look at Striders now! We're gonna head inside, find a way out. Got it. I'm with you every step of the way. I don't know who that is. Don't worry, it's unloaded. <laughs> That's a new gun. That doesn't look like our old one. Got a gun upgrade. Oh, we got the zombies. Oh, and we have combines still. Combine zombies. I know you're coming. You need to get out of here now. God, I'm getting loot. Look at that. Actually, putting it in the gun. Oh God. They've got Dad. They're gonna find out what he knows. What? And then they're gonna. Wait. What? Oh, this is my fault. He's still alive? I never told you. I couldn't, I'm so sorry. That's not a spoiler, Wasabi. You will not save him. Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. Close your eyes, honey! So what is that? Before, I was like, maybe that's the Citadel. I don't know what that is. That's not the Borealis. That's just a combine ship, and oh, there he is. There's the man himself. There's the smile. March of 2020, coming up. January, February, March. I'm gonna be just ending my quarter. I think... Oh, there's a breakdown. We're not gonna worry about that. Woo! There's my other videos! Nakey Jakey. Um... So... Let me hide that window. And turn music back on. Um, FCL soundtrack, come back. Not oh, we're gonna put this one. Put this back. So, what's going on? What's going on? We have a weapon. It seems like the purpose of that game is going to be to find some weapon. We already know that the Borealis is apparently of some weapon type. It has some weapon capability. I know what happens because I've seen a few summaries in the- Oh, okay, so you know what happens. Alright, cool. Um, oh, let's see about that you already know what happens. That's exciting. I'm excited. God, that's amazing. Ah! <laughs> So now, so now that we've seen the trailer, well, loosely, okay, fairly loosely. I was gonna say, I, don't, I feel bad for you uh, having already know what's going on. Now, everyone, we're gonna play a Black Mesa. So I take it you're Half-Life Convert now, yeah. Yeah, it didn't take me long. It didn't take me long after playing the first game to immediately decide that I love this series. And <laughs> I'm coming in it. A little late, I would say a little late. Probably at the best time, considering that the uh, the new one's coming out right away. Um, give me just a sec, I have to mess around. You might hear some interlacing music. I Since I haven't actually launched the game yet, I have to um, turn off full screen and all that fun stuff. Actually, you know what? I think I just broke the game because it changed my resolution and I alt-tabbed accidentally so I can see if my stream is still running. Well, we're gonna have to force close it. Um, well, loosely because of the portal easter eggs about the Borealis. Yeah, you remember those? I, I remember that. I remember seeing the Borealis and everyone was like, Oh, this is such a big deal! Guys, it's the Borealis! I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is! Uh, I'm gonna, sorry, force close. Oh, it changed my screen resolution. I dislike that severely. Let me go change my screen resolution back. 1920, you are 1920 by 1080. Um, scaling... Mess with this stuff. It made stuff like 16 by 9 for some- or not 16 by 9, it made it like 16 by 10 for some reason. Everything's off! Sorry. I'm gonna relaunch the game. So give me a sec, you're gonna hear interlacing music while I try to get the full screen off, so I can actually capture the damn one. <laughs> Crowbar Collective is what it's made by. And it's in the Source Engine, is that right? I only saw one engine notification, I don't know if it's mainly in the Source Engine. In the newer source engine, maybe? Also, I can't see chat for half a sec. Sorry about that. Oh, listen to that music! Crossing over! Video, 1920 by 1080. Apply. Oh, listen to that repeating, skipping track. Full screen mode. 
I wonder if it supports borderless. That would be phenomenal. I have yet to... All these games, they say it's borderless. It's not true borderless. This is true borderless! Oh, maybe? Uh, everything kind of froze up for a sec. Yes, it is true borderless! Oh, fantastic. For the other games, it was not true borderless window, so I actually could not properly... Why is OBS frozen up? Ah, I could not properly capture it. Um, can't wait for them. Physics, my favorite part of the trailer, is seeing the Valve logo. Yeah, wasn't that cool? Right? Um, seriously, the moving objects and shit, that was awesome. Hey Sparky, let's play Space Station 13. I didn't get Space Station 13, and I know a lot of people say that. They're like, I don't understand what Space Station 13 is. I couldn't really get into it when I originally played it. Um, I forget what game they always make comparisons to that, too. Um, I don't think it's my thing, from what I played. It's free, it's the thing. I played it. I, I just don't think it's really my thing. Um, not saying it's bad or anything like that, I just don't, I don't really get it, which I feel is kind of, and I don't really want to get it either, because I felt like I had an awful experience playing it. I was just a lizard person who had to mop up after a cult mass murder. Gotcha. Okay. All my winners are set. True borderless! I'm so happy that we actually have that for once. I don't have to, like, hide my taskbar or anything. Ugh. Black Mesa! A research facility, tram, timetable. New game, Black Mesa Inbound. <sighs> oh, let me also mute the music, forgot about that. Ooh, bye-bye. This is exciting. This is exciting to go back. Oh, it's not even capturing on screen. Oh, that was a bad idea. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry. Um, Black Mesa. Okay, just in the nick of time. Oh, I get the portal reference. I get the portal joke reference. Door release. Secure sector stations require external security authorization. In emergency, use all windows as emergency exits. Wow, this already looks fantastic. Look at this. Oh, look at that lighting. Oh, I'm, okay, I was going to say I'm stuck. Just use all windows? Yep, all windows. All windows are required. Oh, hey, Clippy. 93 degrees. Pretty hot. Pretty spicy outside. I feel uncomfortable. Break glass. Newspaper. Inbound. Tram acquires new grants. Ah, do they? And we recognize some folks on that page, don't we? Maybe. I have no clue. Actually, yeah, you know what? Those kind of do look familiar. I don't- I can't name them. Um, uh, loading. It's so weird to look at this place without it being, like, dilapidated. Game exploded? Oh, don't say that. You may think the game wasn't working. Oh, I'd like this. It reminds me of Chicago. <laughs> if your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector beyond. C, Sector you'll C. need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. I like that they're decorating this area with like stuff in the game, like explosives and stuff like that. It's because it's reported that he thought this looked better than Half-Life 2, so we're gonna see how we uh, how much we agree with that. Um, also, while we're here, because we have a second, uh, options, video, are we on the highest? I don't know if there's any settings we can adjust. Let's do ultra textures. Um, reflect all. Let's get some anti-aliasing here. Uh, try later, it's fine. No vertical sync, no motion blur. Uh, very dynamic lighting. Very high shadow map. Very high dynamic shadow quality. We'll do this for now. If we run into performance issues, we'll turn it off. Give it a sec to apply. Hit the OK button. 
hope it doesn't require a relaunch. There we go. Good. Whoa. I actually don't... <laughs> you know what? That's already a fool. Video. Sparky Computer, I can't believe you've done this. I got a good computer. However, I'm going to turn off some of that, actually. <laughs> now, that, now I regret that. We're not going to reflect all, and we're not going to use anti-aliasing. We'll use a little bit. Uh, we don't need anti-aliasing. Now we'll give it a sec. I wish I could actually get an FPS readout, because I'm so bad at being able to tell if I'm actually hitting 60 or not. Material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. I think no we're fine smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Tram maintenance. Do not leave unattended. What is that stuff? Is it pie chart? Some other just trash? Someone left it unattended. Somebody did. Someone's getting in trouble. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Oh, I'm grinning. We're not hitting 60 anymore. I'm sorry. I'm just realizing that. Um, defaults? No, the rest of the defaults. All right. We turned on this, 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 and I think this. Okay. Since I realize we're in 6C, that's going to look terrible on the on the stream end. Someone left it unattended and someone's going to be a big job. Do not to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Open doors! The of the emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to the emergency station until assistance arrives. Behind D. Don't worry, I'm looking for him. I missed him last time. I have no clue where he's supposed to be. Is this just a sit in a box and experience thing kind of thing? Yeah. The first time I played this, I was like, wow, there is a lot of security, and I think that's what they're trying to get into your head was just how much security is at this facility like how how important you are for being here we're a neurological scientist I think no um theoretical physicist salute we're a theoretical physicist so you don't get to shoot things not yet I mean, you get to shoot things later obviously But yeah, Cinebox, get the idea of what Black Mesa is, and like, what's... It's a research facility, so you know, they're doing a lot of things, they're doing a lot of researchy things here and there. Um, get an idea of sort of what the facility looks like, looks... What they're doing. You made it sound like you're sitting in a box doing nothing else. I mean, we're looking around. We're age 27. PhD in MIT in theoretical physics. What you drinking? Just uh, water with fruit punch flavor. Ooh, we know that beam. We recognize that beam. I like those glass doors, man. Pizza juice, yeah, pizza juice. I just squirt pizza. Big slices in here. It's delicious. We have level three clearance. Immediate openings are available in the areas of pepperoni and low clearance security. Do we have friends in low security clearance? We can hire them. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology. I was disappointed we never saw these robots. We never saw those things in the facility. I really wanted to. They look so cool. Look at that guy. It's like a big old bug. I want to be your friend. 
Oh, we should switch categories. I just realized that. Uh, we should mention what we're playing. Half Life. Oh, I guess it's Black Mesa. Half Life remake. Uh, my crowbar is getting. No, I can't think of a title. Sure, Sparky, I'll do it. No, you won't do it. So I guess we'll stream in the Black Mesa category? Is that a popular category? Sorry to quickly check here. Um, Twitch, I don't know if there's anyone in the Black Mesa category. We might just stream in the Half-Life category. Uh, Black Mesa... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, there's not a lot of people in that category. Alright, let's go over to the Half-Life category. And have to remake. Uh, discovering what it means to be the free man. Update. 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 You gotta hit the update to button twenty times. Otherwise, Twitch will not register your update. And they're just gonna ignore you. Update. 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 All right. Good. Um. No, I was saying. Wait. No, I was saying Sparky will do it, but Wasabi said. Oh, I'm sorry, I totally missed your message there. Can someone do this to Portal 1, please? Yeah, right? I would love a remake of Portal 1. That'd be phenomenal. I will not- No, I won't make a remake of Portal 1. Uh, if I had the time on my hands. I'd love to do that, actually. If I had the time on my hands, but, you know, one person... It'd be a lot more difficult for one person. That's what you'll be doing from the ground up now. <laughs> Don't miss your analysis. No reuse assets? You just gotta fix up the current assets. Oh, G-Man! I see him! There he is! There he is! That's our dad! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. This looks dangerous. I remember last time I was so enveloped in the green radiation stuff that I was like, I want to pay attention to that. That's what I want to touch. Sparky, you sure that's for Bunch? Yeah. We're Gordon. Hi. Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Thank you, you too. It's weird to see the Black Mesa uniform again. I haven't seen that in a while. Hmm. Loading, loading, loading. I'd actually like some more water. I'll hold off, though. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning! Boop. Looks like you're running late. Oh, damn I? Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Barney! We know Barney! I guess his bar cap is finally caught up with. Boom, boom. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Clunk, clunk. This sounds dangerous. Wow, I like their terminals now. Look at that! Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late oh. enough as it is. Don't worry. Hey, Pumpkin Bird! How's it going? Black Mesa. You know it. So we finally beat Half-Life 2, Episode 2, and what a cliffhanger! Oh. Why you even bother putting in extra hours down at the hazard course? <laughs> like you'll ever do more than flip a switch or push a button around here. Alright, man, I just met you. Uh, Alright. The character models- the character models still seem a bit off? I don't know, phenomenal or the, the- the first game's models. I can't complain, I think this looks amazing. I had a ponytail? What? I saw your password. Oh, neat door. Say hi to Dr. Cross for me. Don't worry, I won't. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Ooh. I had a bunch of messages <gasps> for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Yeah, just one of those days. This looks so much nicer. Problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. 
They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you've gotten to your hazard suit. Yes. Before, I mean, God, remember what this room really used to look like? It was one desk across, one guy behind it, and a couple scientists Security in the background. Officer. Look at this now! Seven. Please report to office complex level is that a browser? Six. No, what is that? Got this. Oh, <laughs> there's a blue screen right there. Oh, also, hi, Pumpkin Bart. How you doing? Thank you so much for reminding me. How you doing, Pumpkin? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, sir. We're on Sector C right now. This is some important text. Actually, I just can't think of anything notable to say. Really, which is my fault. Everything is always my fault, after all. 283 plus 252. 253 minus 363. 252 minus 221. 2540218. Is there some significance to that? I don't know if there's a significance to those numbers. I love that there's just no text there, though. It's repeated. I feel like there might be some significance to those numbers. Might be a little dev, uh, dev secret. You are this man. Can I talk to you? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Angry man. <laughs> Report to Super Cool Laser Lab, please. <laughs> What is this dude? Look at this dude with the... Oh, it's a conversation. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, no. Don't touch that. No. Go I'm writing a message. Computer. He actually pushed us off. Hands off, Buster. I'm expecting a message any minute. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Stop this madness at once, Gordon. <laughs> Gordon, you're out of control. You're being rambunctious. That's cool, I think that's cool. I feel like it was just some developer text, but I'm wondering if those numbers are submitted for, for any reason. Like, I'm wondering if he planted, like, where you type in a code and it happens to be these three codes. Because whenever we see someone enter in a code in these, um, walls, it's three, three numbers. And those are three numbers listed there. Just for, just for reference. Hi. We can talk later, Gordon. God, these little rooms look fantastic. This looks just like a, a like a front desk area. All right. Just like, hey, I can be fucked. What to do? Hey, guys. Hey, it's happening. Cut it out. What the hell is going on up there? I'm sorry. <laughs> My horoscope was correct. Come on, Gordon. I'm sorry. Do get me into trouble. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Uh, we had tinkering. a little accident up here, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Oh, I feel like a bad person if I do this Damn, again. Gordon? I'm sorry. Okay. I've oh! Had it up to here. We can do it again? Oh, I feel like a terrible person. Saved. <laughs> you saw the save. Are you trying to get my supervisor down here? Yes, Maybe I want to talk to him. He could fix the computer. Crying out loud, Gordon! Knock it off! No. Come on. <laughs> All right, I'll stop, buddy. You don't want me to write you up. Oh, he wouldn't write us up. He loves us. <laughs> I'm glad you saw that. Saved. Good morning, Doctor Freeman. Hi, hi. Go talk. bother someone else, Gordon. Well, fine. God. You're gonna get Barney in trouble. Wait, that's Barney? Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Did I not recognize Barney the first time? Because I didn't know. I thought these were just random people. Is that really Barney? So in the first game, I didn't know who that was. The guy who needs who needs to give us a beer. I was like, this is just some dude, right? Just the first dude you run into. I don't know if they have a special Barney in this game. That's a good point. I don't know either. If this is Barney, though, I'd be, that'd be amazing. You <laughs> bet. I want to listen to their flavor text, but we should get moving. <laughs> I love flavor text in games. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? In the OG Half-Life, all the security guards are burning to me. Oh, that's a good point, actually. All right, all right, I understand. I understand. Mops are us. Wide mouth. I want to read you. Mop. Something else. Caution, wet floor. Trailing cables. Oh, there's a couple rooms we can go through. The advice he gave him was basically, have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh, would you look at that? Good morning. What are you talking about? Actually, did show up for work this morning. Oh, I'm sorry, Looks guys. Like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. 
<laughs> I miss being like someone everybody loves. Everyone loves Gordon. In this game, no one loves Gordon. <laughs> Not yet, anyways. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Are you telling us to get in there? Oh, I want to read those lab notices. Wait a minute. Notice to lab staff. Laboratories across the facility have been left in a varying state of disorder. Staff are reminded causes a decrease in lab efficiency. Not to mention the safety of staff using the laboratories. Escot checks will be made throughout the day in the monitor lab use, and any dangerous or careless behavior will be dealt with severely. BMRF administration. Lab 1, standard lab operation. Lab 3, see dossier of today's theories. Lab 7, lab staff report to admin for progress report. Is that the same over here? So what? Hi. Please excuse me, Gordon. He's a developer. Look at that. He's got code. Look at the type that code. I don't like your keyboard. Look at that keyboard. That's actually a really detailed key. Look at these things. Look at all those keys. Instead of the Windows icon, did they just put the American flag on there? I wish they would have put the Black Mesa logo. That would have made more sense to me. Right. Let's move. Sorry, I'm amazed by everything. Because America, fair enough, fair enough. I actually like looking at things. I can't read any of that. Ooh, VCRs! Gordon, that really hurt. I'm sorry. I'm looking at stuff. Is this heavy? Apparently not. He didn't notice a thing. Oh yeah, Black Mesa icon would have been cool there, right? Like they just have that on all their keyboards. That would have been awesome. CPU 2800 megahertz, memory 1024 megabytes. I like these server clusters. Look at these things. Ooh. Got some. C oh, look at the cable management. Ah, sorry. Goomba stomp his ass. Let's do it. All right. Since you asked nicely. Boop! Alright, let's get out of here. Um, where are we headed? Research. Development. Which room is this? Hmm. Personnel. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, maybe not. I think that's where we are intended to go. And this is the other way? You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He's he right now. Have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. Replicate. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. Scientists picking I mean, on other scientists. Combined with today's technology, I've recreated. Ah, I can't stand to hear another word of Aww. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar Hi, air sots are absolutely full of it. <laughs> Creativity is the art of hiding. <laughs> They're just yelling across the way. Alright. Um, welcome to Sparky Goes All the Wrong Directions. I like exploring. I like looking around. Seen all the things. Hi. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Okay. Paul, can you call Dr. Marcel on extension 1187463 about the Nimbium 5? He needs it for that AI project thing. Thanks, Dr. Monteris. Still studying paleomathematics, eh? Oh, look, a matrix. I feel like I should know some of this, but I don't really know any of it. <laughs> some equations look mildly familiar. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. <laughs> oh, whoa, they're on, like, Windows 2000. Math stuff. I recognize. You forgot to carry the. That's two. a matrix. I know that. Or was it the three? <laughs> I don't recognize anything else here. 
This is mathematics. I'm not good at mathematics. I do computer science, but none of this looks like computer science. <laughs> uh, A is equal to I less than 3 times 5 to the power of infinity. Dr. Strauss used these boards for personal something. Dr. I don't know. If anyone's a math fan, enjoy that. Cool reserve. Can't let me through? You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Oh, it scanned our eyes. Okay. Hopefully I'm not, things I will die math. down around here. I have soon. math. I have to do a little bit of math for program. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. We were doing linear algebra Probably for the last class. Union busters. Got name the last. Can't let you through. Union busters. With Big Brother watching. Do you know about Big Brother? <laughs> Buddy, I don't stand oh, no, around focus. and stare at you all day. Camera. Well, Camera. I do, but that's because it's my job. <laughs> what? So, go do yours. Oh boy, look sharp. Here comes the administrator. <laughs> gotcha. Ah, you oh, bastard! Man, I got you. Stop that! I'm beginning to doubt that this is part of your decathlon training. Ah! What was that for? Oh, Big Brother is watching. We can I got him. My lunch break. All right, we'll go. I'll see you miss. That's fine. I just wanted to scare him. Ooh, I like these stomps. Listen to that. I have all the different materials you can step on. That sounds awesome. All right, let's go in here. Hey, friendos. Their eyes, resonance frequencies are associated with matter, recreation, or poor lies, doctor. Is this useful info for us? I don't think so. I think it's just math, science, and stuff. Read, please. Important. Increases in exotic matter, decreased stability, or catalysis. Catalyst? I don't know what that is. Structure. They can increase the resonance effects to dangerous levels. And B. As saw with diagrams, AMS interaction. Okay. Crystalline. Is that crystalline? Can you access that oh yeah, that's crystalline. I was trying to read that third letter. It looks like a Y. That would make sense. Okay, it is a Y. Crystalline. Oh yeah, you're a good reader. I'm a bad reader. <laughs> oh, can I break these? Oh, these are tough. Tempered glass. No. <laughs> that's right. That was only in the second game. You can actually break the the glasses and stuff like that. Wait, all the donuts. Not me. It was a rhetorical question. I know, wait, all of them. It was you. Very tempered glass. Gordon, I'm busy. You're an angry man. Code! Hi. Not now, Gordon. Are these important? Freeman. That's highly unstable. Give me some space, Freeman. Highly unstable, you say? Turn on the water. Oh. oh, nice. I turned on the computer and had a blue screen. Have you guys seen these kind of desks before? Our school has these. And I, the first time I saw one, I was amazed. It's literally you stand wherever. The computer or the, the keyboard could be like in the shelf or above or whatever. But it's literally a computer in a desk. Like it's a flat surface and you see the monitor like tilted up like that. I was so amazed when I saw it the first time. I was like, I want one of those. I want a desk like those. I love those kind of desks. They're so neat. They look so neat. It looks like, God, I want one. <laughs> I'd love that even for my main desk. Just think about having like a second monitor for whatever purpose. I mean, I love having multiple monitors. Back home, I have like five or six of them. But have one like right there for like, I don't know. Maybe you put like OBS on that window if you're streaming or if you put like, I don't know, Discord. If you message frequently, put that down there and have your main monitor in front of you. That'd be amazing. Oh, look it. Is that a Texas instrument? Oh, this one has a Black Mesa logo on it. My calculator now. Take it. Maxwell Steven, it's cold in here. Maxwell Steven, it's cold. Is this... This is is. All right. Morning, champ. Hello. Do we do the thing? Do we do the thing? Can we even do the thing? Sorry. Uh, ah. 
You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? Yes. We will never hear the end of this. <laughs> no, you will not. Like an atom and split. So, uh, that was um, that was you know who's lunch. <laughs> yep, that was the docs. <laughs> it did the thing. It did the thing. <laughs> I like these little like packs. This what does this say on the front? Well, for the rest of us, particle accelerators. Is this lunch? I can't see in there. Yeah, it is lunch. It has a little food label on it. Enjoy one of our wide range. I see what it's gonna say. Jesus, what's my own? You know. I don't think I've ever seen you actually perform any work at all. Chair! Do I waltz into your office unannounced and proceed to run amok? I this isn't your no. office? How dare you! This is a general area. I can do whatever I please. I can pick up a chair. Sorry. That really hurt. Yes, you do. I'm gonna take every chair and throw it at you, lady. Has anyone actually even seen your degree? Freeman? Like a bus boy get the I like him. He's nice. He told us to get out of here because it was unsafe. She just doesn't believe in us. All right. Ah, the personnel area. all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Yeah, why do you have to wear that tie? Just wear a lab coat. I don't know why they force you to do that? I don't think we should be able to open any of these, but hey, just in case. I hope she gets blamed for the casserole. I hope so too. I hope she gets blamed for that casserole. Although she's gonna she's gonna tattletale on us, you know it. Why is ours a different color? We have a gray one. Oh, or maybe. Or maybe that's us. We actually never figured that out. Has anyone actually seen your diploma? Let me go get it! I'm gonna go grab it out of my locker and shove it in your face. <laughs> this is our stuff. What is that? What is that? I desire to know. Can't grab it. Can't grab the... Oh, I wish you could. I wish you could take it and just go shore it. Oh, that'd be phenomenal. Does anyone know what this thing is here? Let me... Color... Polish? Polish it? Just looks like shoe balls. Polish. That's what it is. That must be what it is. English. Then she'll be like, yeah. Oh, shit. Right. No toilet paper. Oh, do you want me to toss you one? Oh, I wish I could toss him one. That would be neat. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Oh, I want to help him. Let us help him. Hello. Could somebody get me some toilet paper? I feel like a bad person. Would it be too much to ask for a roll of toilet paper? You do need the. Wait, you need to be that man's Excuse hero me. and get him some paper. Minor emergency. Oh, there is one. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Thank heaven, I'm in dire yes! need of some toilet paper. <laughs> I didn't know that was, uh, okay, that's cool. Did you, did you have done that in the first game? I don't think I did. I think I was just a bad person in the first game and I didn't get him one. Yes. Just a minute. I don't know if that's in the first one. It might not be. Either way, that makes me very happy that I can do that. <laughs> Occupied. I'm gonna need that paper back. <laughs> oh, oh, look what it is! Woo! You're now a hero to at least one person. That makes me happy. <laughs> grab it, grab it. Oh, that's so neat. Gives our height and weight. Unmax system components. Guess your seat runs on DOS? I guess so, right? C job by default too. It's got a hard drive on board of some sort. Daily TPS module. Online, 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 ready. That was so cool. God. 
Did DOS really use EXEs? I... You know, I haven't used the DOS environment often enough to know. I thought it ran with something else. I don't know. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. I think, yeah, it would still have executables. Just installing them's a little bit different. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. It's still command line. You can still run like an executable from the command line. I just don't know. I really haven't used a lot of DOS. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. Oh, you don't like orange? I like orange. And the helmet wasn't optional. Or ventilated. Oh, we have an optional. There wasn't Helmets. an integrated waste disposal system either. Count your lucky stars. Oh. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of yeah. modern engineering. <laughs> I've worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. Oh. Oh! Yeah, well, I was... <laughs> we can breathe underwater, so what's going on? I oh, hey, Smoogulers! That suit certainly flatters your fundament. Excuse me? <laughs> Maybe later, Gordon. How did you enjoy the episode, the end of episode two? The cliffhanger! Oh! <laughs> the cliffhanger! My man! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that that was gonna happen. Flatters my what? Exactly! Flatters my what? That's why I was like, excuse me, is that a compliment or an insult? The cliffhanger! Oh! But I still loved episode two. That segment where you run through and you had to destroy the Striders. Oh, that was so fun. My God. 14 long years. I can only begin to imagine what it must have been like to be a fan and to just keep waiting and be like, well, our series is dead. This, this phenomenal series that had wonderful games, that had such a vibrant and excellent story, and the original game was ahead of its time, so just throw that away. Where's the third one? It was, became a meme at that point. But here it is. We're getting one in March. March of 2020. Communication. Exchanging ideas is a two-way process. I'm glad at least this came out. Give some fans a little something to see. VR is neato. Oh, you got VR! Hey, congrats! I got my battery. I got my phone battery. <laughs> ah, I bought a Steam controller. I bought the two Steam controllers, and I bought the uh, Index. All three of them report that they're still shipping, processing our shipping. Um... Also, for some reason, my index the charge didn't go on my account, so I don't know what to begin with that. Um, so I'm still waiting on my index. <laughs> it's going to take, I think, a while. Even on the page, it's like, no guarantee you're going to get it for Christmas. I'm like, ah, all right. I had PSVR. I was always burnt on VR. I had a, um, a Oculus dev kit, too, and I could not stand the device. I was... It was great at first, they made it harder and harder to use the more often I used it, and then by the end of it, it was literally a useless piece of junk. You could not even get it to work with any of the old games. If you wanted that thing to work, the process to get that damn thing to work, my god. I remember the, the awful memories having to go through like archive.org to find old executables for some of the software to actually get it to work properly. And good luck ever switching a machine. Never switch machines. You have to use that with the old machine you first installed it on. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Back into another reality. Goodbye. Goodbye, Spagoolers. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the, the, the other reality. Chaos and a two-body problem in a spherical universe. We've looked everywhere, right? I just want to make sure. Now that we can sprint. I also didn't know we could sprint for the longest time in the first game. We've gone down there, we've gone down there, gone down there. Okay, we've been. Really enough jumping stops our sprinting. Oh, and sprinting doesn't take up auxiliary power. That's an interesting choice. I actually don't think I like that. I wish there was auxiliary power that was being used with the sprint. I like that idea. Because then you could use your flashlight, and like you had to balance every once in a while, do I want to sprint or do I want to use my flashlight? So I would like sneak, have to use my flashlight, and like get around areas. Also, our flashlight doesn't use up power either. As far as I see, I'm not seeing auxiliary anywhere. Huh. That's a little unfortunate. I, I like the idea that the flashlight was limited. I guess maybe fans might have hated that, but I thought it was kind of neat. I like that little idea. Um, yeah, I sold my DK1 after I couldn't use it anymore. Yeah, exactly! It's like, what the fuck? You can't even use it! It was ridiculous, and trying to get the VR headset to work in the first place with anything was already a pain. Like, I understand it's a dev kit, it's meant for development and stuff like that, which I had the intention of developing for it originally, or at least looking into the development processes. Um, and I purchased it for that reason, but to get the game to, or get the device to even work, let alone develop on it, was just an awful experience in itself. 
you couldn't even get to the VR. Once the VR was there, it was fantastic. I mean, it was an awesome device. It was cool having a virtual reality experience, but oh my god, the process to get there was painful. Then I saw the Vive came out, and I was like, I really would like to pick up a Vive because I already like VR so much, but I just, I can't, I don't want to have the same experience happen again. Now we see the Vive being, you know, probably really successful, which is fantastic. Um, I'm finally dropping my money on the index. I'll see how the index is. We're going to stream it, so we'll see how the quality is, and I hope to God it's going to be a little bit easier. Now that we have Steam VR integration, I think it's going to be leagues better than anything that the Dev Kit 2 ever did. Um, on the Dev Kit 2, you couldn't even hook it up with Steam VR. It wasn't supported. So, no, no on that. Uh, but I really liked it. It's VR experience, even the tummy sickness. Did you ever have a chance to do? I think there was a roller coaster sim simulator. It was sickening, absolutely sickening. That little like fluid in your ear that's supposed to detect whether you're moving or not. Your eyes are telling your ear something that's different, or the the sensor or whatever. It was. It's very disorienting. It's sickening. <laughs> Can't wait though. Um, I don't get motion sickness for some unknown reason. I get motion sickness around like. If I'm in a car for a long time and there's a lot of curves, which just happens to be where I live back home, like it's an hour worth of curves, um, I get motion sick. So I usually have to take Dremody before I like head back home. Um, Go right on so a little bit of VR too. <laughs> I got used to it pretty quick, but man, what a trip! Man, what a trip! They had like a VR demo. What? They had a VR demo where like you would um, see some of the tech of the VR, and one of the things they do is they take like a big brick above you and they start lowering it down and you just have like the instinctive feel to like cringe as it comes towards you and it's about to press on your face you're like please don't just stop <laughs> oh i can't wait for it i can't wait for another vr experience i'm sure it's improved quite a bit since then like the vr game i played on my psvr was a 360 freedom of movement pvp shooter and i played it for hours that sounds neat there's a really one i liked a lot Working as a team. There was one I loved, uh, it was a mech simulator, and you could play it. And it felt very fitting to be in that environment, because you're sitting in a mech, and you have, you know, controls and stuff like that, but it felt fitting for VR, because you're locked in place. Which, at the time, like, how are we gonna get walking in VR games? How is that gonna feel? Is it gonna feel uncomfortable? That one felt very comfortable, because you're sitting, and it's a sitting experience, so, anyway. Black Mesa. Uh, I can't read that. I like these things. Technology, you're the industry leader in the use of robotics. We employ robotics, robots in all of our areas of facility, freeing up, on average, 3.2 workers per robot. Is that good? I guess that's good. Funny in our uh, economic crisis currently. Hmm. I've oft been told my left side was better. No. Oh. The hydroelectric dam is the largest dam in the southwest, and not only produces the f uh, power of 2000 national landmark. Innovation. Already a world leader in quantum physics, Black My Mesa Research goodness. Facility is leading the field in material research. That looks like Lattice. Look how happy they are. And look at this guy. Oh, that's right. We can zoom now. Oh, I don't like our zoom. When it comes to protecting science, this guy's on your side. Security force. I don't like the... I don't like our zoom. Remember when we used to have that like little HUD that would come up? I would use that to line up my shots. I miss that. Because every once in a while, like, if I need to shoot really far, I'd zoom in, get the, like, get the shot perfect, and then fire. That's too bad. I missed the HUD. Hmm. Did good? I mean, it's not necessarily, it's just, it's like a, it's a HUD thing that I miss. Maybe, maybe when we pick up a pistol or, like, a weapon, we'll have that back. Actually, I think that'll be the case. We'll actually get it back once we have a weapon. I'm overthinking it. Maybe don't get across there until you have a weapon. Yeah, the same reasoning I do. Yeah, I think, I think that's correct. Responsible. Black Mesa is a proud sponsor of the New Mexico Adopt a Highway <laughs> Litter Campaign. Together we can keep Black Mesa clean. <laughs> Our tram system is really cool! Yeah, guys! I want to keep doing this. Is that the last one? Recycling. The Black Mesa recy uh, Research Facility recycles 98.3% of its biological, chemical, and mechanical waste. We're the industry leader in green tech. That's fantastic. Visionary. Always looking to the future. Alright, let's, let's leave now. This has been fun. Down we go. Before you're able to jump off this thing. And you still can! We got ahead of ourselves. Loading, loading. Get some water. Back in my day, we had glass monitors and we could draw a dot with erasable marker. That sounds so cool. Oh. <laughs> I see what you mean. So you put your own crosshair on there. <laughs> That's clever. 
I remember way back when, I think I was playing, I think it was Black Ops, um, Call of Duty Black Ops, and uh, there was a suggestion for like more accurate hip fire. Because I think when you ran, you didn't see the actual crosshair until you like stopped running and then got ready to shoot. Um, there was a suggestion if you put like a little black dot on the center of your screen, um, then you know you can hip fire more accurately and you can you know it's a little little hack for yourself. Um, and they didn't want you actually drawing on your monitor, so they suggested take a little piece of tape and put like a small cut of cardboard on the middle of the tape and then press it on your monitor. And I swear to God, I used that for so long. I just had this piece of cardboard on my monitor and I didn't feel like constantly taking it off so I'd like watch Netflix or I guess Netflix wasn't the thing then. I'd watch TV I guess then. Um, and it'd just be this little cardboard in the middle of my uh, screen. They used to sell crosshair stickers, now that's clever. That's actually a great idea. I would have purchased that back in the day. I would have been like, this is, this is so advanced. <laughs> Especially with a little bit of opacity, that'd actually be really cool. Um, but what happens if you go under the elevator? That's a good question, I don't actually know what happens. It doesn't look like there's anything down here. I believe y'all lurk. Oh, hey, I appreciate it, Noel. Thank you, thank you. Nothing it looks like. Crosshair stickers, that's phenomenal. Oh. Touch. Touch, touch. These are cool buttons. I love those buttons. Pointless details. Well, you have to go down there later. For various reasons. I won't spoil it. This whole research facility, we're gonna be running through this, so there's a whole reason why they're kinda leading you along and showing you the whole area. What you working on? Hi. Don't just look at me. How is he still typing? Well, I guess he. he I don't look at the keyboard when I type. <laughs> Do you even know what you're doing anymore? Touch that be Sparky, but he keeps going! Like, what, how's he typing a whole essay right now? Just touch typing? Not even looking if he's making a mistake? I mean, he's not looking at the screen is what I meant, not looking at the keyboard. He's a god among men, he makes me uncomfortable. I'm uncomfy. Do you like what you're doing? No, you don't like what you're doing. Dear boss, this is a creepy dude looking at me right now, and I think he might be armed. Yeah. Do you have a gun, sir? Is there a gun? I'm gonna have to pat you down. I'm gonna have to double check if there's a gun on your pocket. In your, in your pocket. God. Oh, God, have you been looking at this whole thing? Hey, did you see that guy stare Don't at us? bother someone else, Gordon. But <laughs> uh, Hold... Uh, hold on for one... moment. What? If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red Calamity, I'm not interested. Hit him with something, make him talk. I don't know if we have anything. We go back and grab something. No, I think he's just a silent actor. Oh, oh, Whoa, lasers. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. I thought this was the coolest thing in the first game. I was like, these are tubes. Oh wait, no, I mean Gordon's the creepy dude. Gordon's the creepy dude. What? Gordon's not creepy. Gordon's is, Gordon's. Fantastic, I love Gordon. Acousto optic modulators are on the fritz again. Um, I was like, this is the coolest thing. Earlier in the in the first game, you see these big old pipes going along the walls. I was like, oh, I wonder what those contain. Water? And it's like, no. Caution, laser containers. It's like laser in here. I'm like, what? What? There's a laser in there? What? It's cool that they actually have like glass here and you can see it. Caution, laser. You have no idea what's going on, do you? I love the idea that you have to carry a laser around a building. Indubitably. Indubitably. Touch. Hi. This is our security clearance. What's up, Doc? The toolbox here is suspiciously equivalent size. Oh, it is, isn't it? I guess we can't open it anyway. I hope that we can get that later. I don't know. Is that where we normally get it? Greetings, no Dr. Freeman. Greetings. Black Mesa Research Facility. Ooh. Should we recompile? The sound design in this game is fantastic. I'm rather busy now. Hi. Give me some space, Freeman. All right, all right, all right. Everyone's angry at us. We might be a theoretical physicist. But at least we're having a good time. Look at us hopping around. Like we're the king of the world. Naked fries. Huh. Damn, these people don't like you. I guess they're busy. Ah, Gordon. 
There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Me. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Oh, Barney's in blue shift. Or no, opposing force. Barney's in opposing force. I was confused. I remember that Spigoolers had mentioned that to us. I didn't who know who Barney was in the second game, I don't think. Or is he in opposing force? I think he's not the first one, but he's like either that or he's just a prominent character in the second game. Or in the um, in opposing force in the game that comes after this, technically in the middle. Um, that's where he's from. So he's not at the front desk, I was confused. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I got gather it. he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you. The administrator. In the test chamber. Right. Come on then. I'll walk you down. Look at this cup! I want this cup! Oh my god, can I get this in real life? Oh look, it has a Bioware uh, website on there. The admission? Do you remember him? A little bit. I remember him. Yeah. Sounds familiar. Oh, valvesoftware.com. Oh, I thought that was Bioware. I'm sorry. What the- where the hell did I read Bioware at? Oh, I saw where. I saw software. So I thought it was like Bioware. I think he's in episode 2. Um, the administrator? I thought the administrator was G-Man. Is he someone else? He might be someone else, actually. Episode 2. Ooh, you got me confused. If you Google the administrator and find a wiki article, let me know. No, why don't we go go ahead? The Administrator. Half-Life. Because I'm curious now. I think maybe he leaked the files? Uh, okay. Oh, it's Dr. Breen! Yeah, Breen! Breen is the Administrator. Okay, got it. All right. Um, I was confused if it was an episode 2 or not. He's just Half-Life 2. Like, the first... That's the whole point of Half-Life 2, is you um, get into the Citadel and... Well... He's in the Citadel. He's in the Citadel and he leaks the files and all that. Um, yeah, Walls Breen. He's the administrator. I, th I was thinking G-Man, but that's wrong. No, 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 he's a benefactor. Ooh, I wanna look at these. No, I'm confused? I believe so. Here, let me send a... This is who I believe they're referring to, because he's in charge of, like, all of this right now. He's the former head of Black Mesa, so since he's the head of Black Mesa, I imagine they're talking about him. Um, and later, Earth's administrator under the Carbine. Uh, from his quarters on the Earth in the Citadel of City 17, he was humanity's representative with the Combine, which is what we see in the second one. Um, but yeah, I searched it too, and Breed's definitely the administrator. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, the administrator and benefactor. I keep confusing those two. I wonder if putting the trash can in a door caused like, physics issues. Didn't you just say that? You just said that. Don't say the same message twice. I read your message. I didn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I just don't want to bother. I certainly hope Wish me luck on the first boss. Very many good lucks. I hope it goes well. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning Are we Eli? finds you well. We're not Eli. Gordon. He's Eli. Good I forgot I even posted it. Oh, you're fine. Eli! We know Eli! Hi, Eli! These last minute changes. They're, they're a bit strange to just oh. He's also our dad. Go oh, go, 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 go. Go, Eli! Quick! Look how fast he's going! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Oh, hey! Look who it is, too! The doc! Oh, no, 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 you're not a doc. I just recognize your voice. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. God, this looks unsafe. Are you sure, Eli? Come on, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Um, no, I'm okay. I want to talk to Eli. Offline. This looks unsafe. Are you sure you're going to put me in a machine? Let's chat. Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. Okay. These look unsafe. Are these safe? Touchy. Alright, let's go. Uh, call it over there. Oh, I like these buttons too. They have such nice buttons! Everywhere! Anyone in this place? Everyone in this place treats you like a kid. Yeah, I agree. Run along, Gordon. Go do your thing. Go, go into your hazmat suit and go, go touch the material. Oh, that's cool. Ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Is that bad? Gordon, I'm busy. Tell me about the radiation level, please. I feel unsafe. This is far from the glory I had envisioned as I'm uncomfortable. Grad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Oh. 
You do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. That's kind of depressing. I need more about. time for myself. There's Come, a problem with being in don't science. Kid I guess. Yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. Oh, okay, that result. tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. Oh my it's high God. time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. He's like, okay, I guess I'll put my vacation on hold. Yeah, I don't know, man. This looks pretty complicated, so, uh... You're doing fine. Just a minute, Gordon. No, oh, don't worry. I won't bother you. You don't deserve to be bothered. Woo! How are you? Please excuse me, Gordon. Uh, all right, you're excused. Test lab oh, C33A. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Hombre. Oh, sorry. Does this still work? Wait a moment. Okay, what kind of? Got my attention. So you technology is this. Wireless. What kind of future are we living in? Why are you not amazed? Cold feet, Chief. Step right up. So what does this cup say? I'll read this. Forty-two. The answer to the universe. Is that the right quote? I forgot to hit Jack here's school. The exact quote. Ah, uh, here he is. Hi, guys. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. Ooh. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Okay. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a no, highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Correct. Not a single problem. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Nod your hands. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. That's my favorite line. Which one? Famous final words, nothing will go wrong. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen. Let's do this. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a Charlie's highly trained professional. <laughs> that is a great line, isn't it? <laughs> Seems to be in order. I'm ready for the sample. <laughs> all right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, you got that it. way we can bring the anti mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Oh, that's cool. A wireframe of it. Rotor start. System online. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three. Emergency two, shutdown needs one. fixing ASAP. Hold on. Just a moment now. Shit, that emergency shutdown's working? Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, or how long the reading will take. But please work as quickly as you can. You got it. Overhead capacitors to 105 percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in. 
Should pause the sequence, Doc. I'm ready. Give me that specimen. Wow, look at that crystal. Do I gotta push it? Standard insertion. Non-standard specimen. Alright, last time we straight up yeeted this thing into the machine. We're just gonna very delicately Go ahead, put this in. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. Oh, oh bad idea still. Up we go! Shutting down. I like the green, that looks awesome. Is this safe? We alright, Doc? Oh god. The insertion procedure goes wrong. God. How'd we end up down here? Oh, we get teleported. Look! Vork or Vord? I forget their names. Hi. Are you our friends or are you evil? I don't know. You are friends in the second game, but you are you you are evil in this one. I think. Unforeseen consequences. Oh, I liked where it kind of flicked through a couple places. Like you can tell it's so unstable, it like flicks through a couple teleportation places until eventually you port back and end up here. But anyway, anyway, um, a little disastrous. Something bad happened. Vorts, thank you. Vorts are bad guys in this one, which I always feel bad. I'm gonna feel really bad killing any of them. Let's hop. Oh. Vortigants. Poor Vortigants. They're enslaved anyway. Oh, I cannot hop for some reason. I'm doing bad hops. Vortigants. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Vortigants are bad. Right, I knew I was pronouncing that wrong when I said Gants. <laughs> uh, guys, containment looks breached. Oh, there's a bloody hand here. That one works. Oh no, the guy behind the PC. Are you okay? Hmm. Oh, fuck. Unauthorized biological force? What? What is that? <gasps> no, that wasn't. <gasps> no! He was just about to take vacation. It's okay. We must be strong. We can get through this. Up we go. Oh, thank God. Are you okay? Tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. I'm still alive. Okay. Thank God for that hazard suit. Is his name Doctor Kleiner? Kleiner? I can't. Real quick, pause. Kleiner? Doctor Kleiner? I'm gonna keep getting his name wrong otherwise. Isaac Kleiner. He's not Doctor Kleiner. Doctor Kleiner's the doc. Um, what is this man's name? I keep forgetting his name. Kleiner, Eli, Eli, Eli. Okay. Anyone in the facility? Eli. I'm sorry. I need to get to name. the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. Yes, I will There's do that. No telling what kind of danger is. Ah. Right. My God, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scanner. Got it, uh, Eli Vance. Thank you. I totally forgot his name there. Keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You got it. You hear me? 
You got it, Eli. I wonder, uh, it'd be cool if this was the specific head crab that um, Dr. Vance, Dr. Kleiner makes friends with, but I know, probably not. Thank you, Eli. Do you want to chat a little bit more? Got to find someplace safe for How's your daughter? So I can go find my family. Aww. Sorry, Eli. Alright, let's get moving. Is there anything up there we can grab? No, it all looks... All looks very broken and dilapidated. Oh, it'll kill the guy! He's gonna get zapped, isn't he? Oh! Yep, I knew it was a bad idea standing there. Then of course he's gonna get murdered. All right, we'll keep this foot to remember him. God, this game does an awesome job at the beginning. I want to be like, what, what in the world was that? Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Time to go! Ugh! Oh, the laser got out! How unsafe! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Rogue lasers! Can I get through here? Time to go. God, to hear their screams too. Fuck. All right, up we go. Wow, this game does a great job. The intro. Yeah, no one lived from that. That wasn't that full of a jar. That wasn't that full of a far of a fall. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Oh god, they are, aren't they? <gasps> we can pick up the head crabs now! Oh, do the little dance! Little dance. Alright. Oh, there you go. Um, follow us. Go, go, go. There's another one. Hey, shoot that. Shoot that. Don't let them get near you. You like that huh? I don't think he likes that. Yeah, get him! Break through that glass! Is there anything in here we want? Or need? I think we went in here for no reason. Oh! Hey, hey now. Alright, let's go, man. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Hey, we are. Whoa, hey. Jesus. Can I? Let me get a flare. Sorry, Freeman. Hey, take this. You rock star, get on the show now, can't they? Yeah. Yeah. These guys are very dead. Burn! Burn! Oh! I took our flare. We're gonna take one more. Let's go. This shit is something out of a sci-fi. Right, let's get something out of our locker real quick. Oh, oh hey! eating his casserole! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Jesus. I think it's dead. <laughs> That's hilarious! God. Okay, God. 
Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. That's great, isn't it? I love it. Oh my god. Oh. I'm not dawdling. Shoot the guy. Oh, oh god. Oh, don't kill him. Please, back up, back up. You're my only hope. Grab your diploma. We have to prove to people, otherwise they won't believe us. That'll look nice in my trophy room. Yes, it will, man. Our only defense right now before we can get a weapon. That man used up all the toilet paper. How are we going to help? 65. Alright, let's go. Can't forget the diploma. Give! Oh, look, it fell! Toss. Oh, and a shoe balls! Ball shit. You're giving me the silent treatment. Am I? I don't know about that, man. I'm a little spooked. It's a little scary right now. I'm not trying to give you no silent treatment. I thought that was that was great. God. Oh, that was awkward. <laughs> Alright, let's move. Going up the hall. Oh, that's a lot of boys. You gonna be okay? Uh, I need a weapon. This will do. With a little help with what? Shoot, Doc. They got me. No, attack me. I'm the more important one. I love this dog. Keep shooting him. Keep shooting him. No, no. Pay attention to me. Hey. Yes, one more, one more. Hope these guys aren't diseased. <laughs> Stop getting close to him, Doc. Alright, let's go. Alright, we got more. Shoot him up. Oh, we got a flare. Burn! <gasps> Did you take our flare? Oh, shoot him! Doc, what are you doing? There we go. Just sitting there. There you go. Let's get this over with. Okay, I'm gonna try to call for help. You gotta get to the admin office. Is this guy immortal? Sure, seems like it. Oh, maybe this guy was invincible. Maybe. You know what, that might make Come sense. In, anybody. This is Sector C, Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation. That's a breach. If we would have been contained, we might have been fine. But, we are not contained. Black Mesa Research Facility. He's not hearing a thing. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there? So normally, in the previous game, we weren't able to get out here. Which, I guess it's kind of like, there's no reason to not be able to go out here, it's just, you know. Oh, shoot! Because there's no way to call the elevator or anything. Or it's called the escalator. It's called the, you know what I mean. The, the tram. Alright. There's no getting out that way. How's it going? Somebody. You're gonna need that gun real quick. We're not gonna see what's gonna happen. That's all you. <gasps> There's the crowbar! Beat the hell out of their faces! Bad, 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 bad! Okay, we're rolling that way. I love this crowbar. It's even more satisfying somehow than before. Stop that! Oh, let's help the duck. Let me in, let me in! No! Yeah, stop that! No! Don't get on his face!
Hey, duck. Hey, uh, duck. You, uh... You okay? Yeah, you're okay. Oh, I remember this one. This is the cool scene. Look at that. Oh, I didn't get a good... I didn't get the light. Light? I didn't get the light again. Light? There we go, I got the light. Hey, how you feeling, mate? You a little scared? Flashing light hurts brain. I'm sure he's a little frightened, too. Ugh. Alright. Just to add to the creepiness of the environment. How you doing? Oh, I remember this one, too. He's trying to get up to the first aid, but he can't quite reach it. Let's go. I need some water. I keep saying that. Let me pause it when it comes back. I'm gonna grab some water. Once we get back in. Pause. I'll be back in like two minutes. We'll call it two minutes. Be back. Oh, I should play music. There. Here's music. That was like hardly even a minute. <laughs> All right. Quick save. Um. Let's double check the zoom. God, look at that. It's a winter wonderland in here. Why is it so cold? Oh, I see. That's cool again. The snow region. region. He has little snow, uh. What are those called? Fractals. Or what looks like fractals. Ha! Ah, it's cool looking! I see what you did now. Power 13%. I didn't like that guy. I guess. There's not really anything over there for us. Ooh, explosive. Who's there? Dude, fire and flames, we don't... We don't care. It's been a while since I played Guitar Hero. Going in elevator is a bad idea, right? Power We've already seen. Don't be squashed! Like a pancake. Oh, water! There's water down here? Your boy. Ooh. Your swipes are a lot more effective than they were before. You could really predict them in the first game. I can't really predict them so well anymore. I don't think there's anything in these crates. Well, actually, there might be. I got so used to the there being nothing in those crates in the second game that I'm not bothering. Oh god. That's right, the meat chute! We remember the meat chute! Oh, are you dead though? Did you really die from that fall? You did! 
He died from that fall. That was a weak fall. I guess maybe the, the ladder falling on him. Oh, here's your friend's leg. Oh, you little bastard. Stop that. Stop that. Didn't expect you at all. G-Man, I saw you! Come say hi to me! Not you. I need a gun. I need a gun. I need a gun. I want a gun. I want a gun so I can murder you. God, I hate those things. They're, for some reason, less creepy than before. That didn't sound so bad, actually. Oh, I thought that was meat. I was like, why is there meat down there? That was not as creepy as I thought it would have been. Negative 96 degrees. Should we be in here? Oh, I guess we're in the hazmat suit, so it's fine. I love the ways those things sound. I love the way they sound in the first game. I hope they sound similar. It sounds like something's like revving up and is about to like explode of some sorts. Um, that didn't sound like how they should sound, which makes me concerned that they they change how they sound. I I want that sound to very, at the very least stay the same because they sounded so horrifying in the old games. Like it would make you unnerved, give you give you hairs on the back of your neck standing up. G man's keeping an eye on us. Let me in. Denied. Oh, in here. Oh, I can't pick this one up. I wish I could pick them up. I love the fact that we can pick up those early ones. That made me extremely happy. Shoot. Oh my god. Oh, I killed him already. No. Warning! Fire extinguisher missing! Telephone facility operations at 132 for replacement immediately. Where the hell the fire extinguisher go? Manual override, emergency use only. I went to this. Thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. Ooh. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. You got it, Doc. Glad to oblige a fellow scientist. I bet it's true. The way that we just opened up uh, this way. Fantastic! Fantastic! Is this is this it? Yes, thank you. You should stay in here, because you're the only one that can open the damn door. Hit him with a crowbar, he's clearly a traitor. No, he's giving us weapons. Uh, safe haven. Woo! Well, at any rate. Aw. You gonna stay here? I've had my fill for excitement. Though. That would do it. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. The smooth grenade tossing animation? I actually didn't even see that. Because I'm silly and I didn't watch. You're welcome to stay if you want? You want me to stay? You go on ahead. Oh, maybe. I'll catch up. Sorry. Use the pistol. Right click, not doing anything. Whoops. Sorry about that. I forgot, in this game, pistol rapid fires if you hit the, the right button. But um, in the second game, pistol right click doesn't do anything. Hot water feed valve. He can't toss it up like a baseball bat. That's cool. Hell yeah. Did something with a hot water feed. Feed one, feed two. Those are the temperature controls. Oh, does that allow us to get in here now? Ah, it does. Excellent. And we now have a pistol. If you're back, I need Fanta. Oh, I want a Fanta too.
Raise temperature before entering. Satisfying gun sounds. Woo! Woo! God. Damn face over. God, that was that was a good throw. I'm just gonna conserve ammo. No reason we need to be using the pistol right now, especially since we're gonna get a lot of shots on it. Hi, Vortigon! You wanna be friends? You I'm the free man though! You like us! Oh, they really are enslaved, aren't they? Look! They've got chains on them. Oh, God. They've got rings on them, too. Oh, poor things. Okay, we gotta go down there, probably. Sorry, Portugal. I was just gonna see if there's a way that we cannot kill Portugal, but I have immediately killed the first Portugal that I've run into, so now that is pointless. <laughs> Gordon, is that you? Hi. Is it safe? No, no, no. Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. <laughs> oh man, no. Um, run along, Freeman. I have some sordid business to attend to. Yeah. Let's chat about it, man. It's okay. Good old delicious orange Fanta. Orange Fanta is fantastic. Delicious indeed. Zombies are a little more dangerous in this game. Damn scientists. How are you guys? I'm doing all right. So I'm doing all right. It's a little. I had a five-hour nap before streaming today. <laughs> um, but I'm doing great. How about yourself? I don't remember if I asked. I don't remember if you asked. Either. Whoa, okay. You're not gonna fill all the way up, are you? Oh yes, you are. Let's move. I think we got rid of these guys first. Oxygen at 51. I don't know where to go. We're gonna go get some more oxygen. Whew. Maybe just where we open that valve? My internet is finally working with me, so I'm playing Neo. I'm not familiar with Neo. Neo. How does that name escape me? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's try this way. No, that's just what we opened up, right? Yeah, it's no matter on that. Maybe we just get out now. Yeah, that did something for us. Funny, I did this in the first game, but I still can't remember what to do. <laughs> oh, cool. New section. Neo is Samurai Dark Souls. Oh, okay, I remember Neo. Alright, I wasn't sure what- the, for some reason, I've been playing, um, Noida, which I thought you meant Noida for some reason. I get you, I get you. Um, cool, I hope you enjoyed Neo. We're not supposed to be here. We are Security Clearance 3, this is Security Clearance 4, we're not allowed here. Ah. There's something in that. Hey, now. I want to get up there. We're gonna. Oh, you're not movable. Yes, you are. We're gonna get up there. 
We're gonna figure out what that secret is. Going. Yeah, it's fun, but my mic's my mic wire broke. Oh, that's too bad. Do you uh do you have to chop on your mic often? I swear to God, I saw a red light in there. Am I going crazy? There's a red light in there for sure. There is. Oh, it's just a safety bolt. I'm going crazy. Say again. Um, your mic wire is broken. What is um? What do you use your mic for? Is it like connected to your to your headphones so you can't hear too well? Or do you use just the mic in general for like chat? Sparky has gone crazy. It's confirmed. What? PS4 controller is locked. Ah, I see. I see. I see. I'm not going crazy. You're going crazy. Shush. Corruption has finally got to his brain. I corrupted the brain. I corrupted the brain to make myself better. It was successful. Get in there. Yes. Yes. I don't think we're supposed to be in here for real look around anyway. I keep turning off the flashlight like I need to conserve battery. I wish it wasn't infinite. That, I don't like that it's infinite. I want a limitation on that. Sorry. I am Freeman. Rise and shine, Freeman. Rise and shine. Are these the developers? Who are these guys? <laughs> I love the face, whatever it is. Put the tape in the VHS? Nope. Gracie killed the face ever. Uh, all of these are turned off. Surprisingly, the charger's empty. Oh, we had to go in here anyway. Shoot, I was hoping this is a secret. It's not a secret. We had to go here no matter what. Wastewater. Oh, sorry. Let's go! Now before facehuggers dropped from the ceiling and attacked us, let's hope that doesn't happen again, and let's enjoy these sweet beats. Oh, God! <laughs> I want to collect them. I'm going to collect as many as I can. Oh, that one flung up. Flung down. That's a lot. God, that's a lot. I like Black Mesa. I have my reservations. I think the graphics is phenomenal. I like a lot of the sound design, but not all the sound design. I have some reservations, I will say, but so far I think it's phenomenal. It's, it's definitely a, uh, a modern Half-Life one. Uh, and that's not really true for it. It's, a, uh, it's an excellent remake thus far. It keeps very true to the original, which I like, and with some creative liberties taken. Um, maybe some of my, my arguments thus far are somewhat nitpicks. I think they might be. Um, I think it's it's pretty great. Very, very true to the original, which is good. Wet box. Um, oh, my, my small note so far. Um, small note. No, I don't even want to. I was going to mention the HUD before, but no, the HUD's fine. Um, the camera zip was slightly off, but no, it's fine now. I'll see. So far, I am like. I guess there are some creative liberties for where there was like just changes made. I didn't quite feel were needed. Um, oh, the Zen levels are new. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, I actually can't wait for that because I know a lot of people did not like the Zen levels. I did not like the Zen levels. So that's a, that's a big exciting thing to hear. Um, which is cool. That was the weakest part of the original. Very much agreed. Very much agreed. Um, 
One thing was, you know when you first put the crystal into the into the machine to like trigger the reaction and it turns into the catastrophic results? Um, when you start, like when you get zapped by the teleportation beam and you get beamed out of that place temporarily and you... In the original game, you beam all around the place. You like see like five or six different locations, and well, three or four. And then you get beamed back. In this one, you only get beamed to the Vortigans. And then you just sit there for a second, they walk towards you and they pray, or they do something, and then you go back. Which felt odd. Like, I guess that might do some connection to the original game. It feels like an odd change. Um, that was one of the small things. Facehugger eating casserole, that was, I love that. That was great. They, you tell the developers had a sense of humor in a lot of this. Probably as a result of Zen not being done. Oh, that would do it. Yeah, that actually makes perfect sense. Okay, yeah, all right. That makes sense. That there's a reason for that. Okay, cool. All right, all right. All right. Um, that makes sense. All right. <laughs> I was like, I can't understand why they didn't do that. Yeah, probably as a result of Zen not being done, and them just not knowing like what that's gonna look like, or maybe even like the areas of Zen, they didn't even think of um, doing like a pseudo. Oh Jesus! Idea of the area because then why would that be needed? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. All right. This is still in development for sure, yeah, I'm familiar with that. <laughs> so Zen is still not done. I forgot, I think I asked this before. Is this game completable, or is it just you cannot complete it? Can I make- I think I can make that jump. I'm gonna try to make that jump. Oh, don't lose my box! I don't think I can make that jump now. We're gonna try. Oh, that's unstable. Oh! I want to see if I can make that jump. I'm very close to that. It's done up and Zell the Zen Pointer. Okay, got it. Woo! We made it. What's over here? Lower Canal. Was I supposed to jump down or was I supposed to make that jump? Well, that's a hell of a skip. Hey! I don't know if I was... I have no idea, just keep going? Alright, I'll just keep going. Alright guys, I think I can make this jump. Alright! Let's see what's in here. I don't know if I want to go down here. Oh, this is the skip part. I think this is how- Oh, uh, is this how we get it? Oh, this is getting down. No, I'm sorry. I'm going crazy now. I'm not ready for this boss fight. You gotta be ready. I wonder if that was just a cool shortcut for people to find. Maybe. Yeah, maybe for those who are good at jumping. Good at those jumps. Let's go back. You know what? This guy's spit, the like spit animation that they got going on, that reminds me exactly like the spit animation in the uh, second game for the little spider creatures. It just stops you from crawling through the pipes, right? I think so, yeah. It's just that like lower section where you gotta jump down and go find like an exit underwater. So it's not a huge skip, but it's a skip nonetheless. Speedrun strats. No. <laughs> I remember before here I got lost. I couldn't figure out which end to go down. I think I go down this end. Oh, nope, that's... Oh, yeah, there's one too. One open. I'm glad there wasn't, like, an invisible wall that prevents you from jumping there. That's, that's a pretty cool... Nonetheless. Have you had any experience with the Vorpex stuff? Mod any FPS for VR, apparently? Wait, really? Mod any FPS for VR? No, I haven't even heard of that. That was not a thing when I had VR originally. That sounds awesome! What? Alright, send in. I'm writing that down. Vorpex. Half-Life 2, it says. That's right, isn't that actually technically in this game, too? Like, literally, when you go to the options and go to... I don't actually not might be. Might not be in here. Um, in the other two Half-Life games... Yeah, it's not in here. Multiplayer. There's a multiplayer? And that's their scientists. Oh, that's about. Um, but in the other two games, there's a VR thing you can set up. I have no clue what that is. I wonder if that is related or not. Anyways, that's awesome. That's superb. Do it with Half-Life, Spooglers. Stream it. I mean... They even intentionally added a load zone in there instead of just a dead end. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, you can still get up there, though. 
which is the mark of a cool dev. Um, the load zone being, no matter what, you do have to go up there, so it's not necessarily, like, a shortcut in the sense of, like, you're still gonna end up in that same location. Um, it wasn't like they, uh, specifically added that zone in, just for that shortcut. Oh, sorry, I wanted a circle. Woo! I got a death symbol on here now. Did I just go up the wrong side? I did. Why did I do that? We came through a door, right? See, so I get all turned around in this class. I got the far side. I mean, they pretty much did since they rebooked the game. Oh, that's even. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna argue with you. We were just up there, so that just makes us struggle back. This just brings us back. I want to get to that side now. Made the door unoperable, but you gotta use that door no matter what. Like, that was the only door to get to here. <laughs> you still just come around that way anyway. Arguing with Sparky. Hey, Sparky, Beverly Hill Chihuahua sucks? Spagoodlers, have I introduced you to the magical realm of Beverly Hills Chihuahua? Have you seen Beverly Hills Chihuahua featuring George Lopez? It's phenomenal. It's a Chihuahua featuring George Lopez. Look at the dog. Loki expected a ban. Look at this. No, I'm not going to ban you because I don't know how to unban you. I think it's just slash and unban, but I don't want to try that. Look at the dog. It's so cute! Ah! Alright, so officially we're gonna need this on the stream for the remainder. Alright, let's get back to it. Since Spagulers talked about Beverly Hills Chihuahua, we are becoming exclusively a Beverly Hills Chihuahua stream. Chihuahuas are angry creatures. Chihuahuas are little angry rats sometimes. Um, they're not necessarily bad if you own a Chihuahua. I'm not attacking you. I'm only attacking your dog. <laughs> Nope, that does bad things to my eyes. It does bad things to my eyes, too. It tells me secret, uh, sweet little lies. Just like Todd Howard. Can I get up this way? Is this possible? Do I have to climb on top of a box? I don't see a way up there. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Sasha, so, 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 fan Spagoo. Don't fan Spagoo. Everything just works. This segment stumped me last time, too. The last time I was playing this. Um, there's nothing down this way, is there? Before you were actually able to clamber yourself onto the one of these sides. But now it's even higher. And by it just works, he means just works, as in barely. Just barely. Oh my god, stop spinning. Go over there. Let me get on this. Jump! Jump for freedom! I have no clue how to get that. Um, we're gonna look around more. I don't see like a button that I'm missing. Are these more stable? Oh, I have an idea. I have a bad idea, but it's gonna work. Let's do this. Quick save. It has to do with something to do with that open passage in the water. No, no, this is what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna take the elevator up. Woo! <laughs> I was hoping that would work. We don't really have a lot of like horizontal movement. All right, let's go check that open passage. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be clever. <laughs> if only I had a, no, I wouldn't work either. How do you like the remake? Not bad, not bad. I think it's actually superb. Um, the graphics, I would say, has even a leg up on Half-Life 2. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, I mean, it's a very good homage to the original. The creative liberties that they do have are understandable, but I do, I do think it's phenomenal. Oh, now he liked it. I do like it. I do like it. I had my reservations, but those were only minimal. Maybe you, can I turn you off? 
I've also only very recently played the, the original Half-Life series, so... I would say within the past week, I think I played the original Half-Life. So uh, it's a... Uh, turn on. Um, good comparison. Maybe, maybe with the ladder. Maybe... Can I turn you? Nope. Do I get up here, perhaps? There's nothing up there, though. It's been a lot of Half-Life for Sparky lately. I've been enjoying it a lot, though. It's not that I, like, don't want to do it. I specifically do. I very much want to continue. Oh, did I miss this? Is this a thing? Oh, no, it's not. Um, yeah, no, it's me wanting to play it. Me opting as much as I can to the desire to play it. Well, sorry. However, this exact same area eluded me previously because I am not a smart puzzle solver. So now I'm a small bit stuck. A minuscule amount stuck. And Smagoodlers is gonna help us with a small hint that will make us make us discover how to get past this segment. Let me in. That's something bad. Here is it. Have you tried Wombo? Have you gone to WomboCon? Let me get a let me get a website here for you real quick. Um Here we go. Spagoolers and anyone who hasn't seen this website, have you been to Zombocom? Yeah, I said Wombocom by accident. <laughs> Go to Zombocom if you haven't been to Zombocom. Literally, there's no better site in this, on this planet than Zombocom. There's also an HTML5 version if you don't have Flash. Um, Zombocom is phenomenal. Uh, to be honest, I always forgot this part specifically. Right? I, I was like, I did this before. I just don't know where to go. Also, thank you for saying it was a good thought, Pumpkin. I forgot to mention that. I'm gonna give it a point. I'm gonna. We're just gonna stack up stuff. We're gonna use physics. Get in the water. People get salt because I'm new to a game. That's always sad. Wait, does it do anything? Of course it does! With Spagoolers, it's Zombocom! It's literally the best site! Welcome to Zombocom! We're gonna push this up here. Oh! Let me do that again. Maybe we just shoot up out of the water. No. Nope. Oh, I broke the box! No! Do it this way. Does it do anything? Of course, Spagoolers! What do you think it does? Zombocom is melting my brain? Good! Zombocom. Oh, I was like, I'm levitating now! Zombocon does nothing better. I feel like he's planning to jump spook. No! Uh, yeah, you get no horizontal movement. Time to buy virtual desktop for Zombocon. Oh, boy. Boy, you're in it for a treat. The ultimate power user. There's no better desktop out there. Okay, maybe I have a feeling, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is an opening over here. No, not impassable. Doesn't look like we're really supposed to get in there. Hmm. Today my mom texted me to tell me her new doctor, who I never met, had a stroke. I thought it was weird. That is weird. Ask your mom why. Ask her why she has done this. I was thinking maybe we can use like buoyancy, like climb on this and maybe it will like shoot us upward. I can't seem to really get up. Oh, it's a little bit higher. Come on! He dead though? Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently it was a 4-9 Indian and gave good hugs. Like, okay, mom. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear he died though. That kind of sucks. It sucks when anyone dies. <laughs> it's weird that your mom told you about it though. Uh.
Me too, and that's the thing. Oh, I swear, I was, oh, I was so close. Why tell me if I didn't know him? Maybe she just wanted to, to tell you about her life. Tell you about her things. Because now I'm sad too, right? <laughs> there was no reason to make the Spagoodler sad. Maybe I push this in here. Maybe we use this box as like a, a leverage on the left side here. Oh, there's just no way up there. Have I explored this room for? Yeah, there's no exit. I'm going crazy with this section, I swear. The part about giving good hugs take me over, I think, yeah, that's a little weird. Ask, ask your mom if she um, got lots of hugs from him. I'm sorry, that's weird. Why did I say that? Sorry. <laughs> is that not a button? It is a button, but it's a button we can't hit. It says no. Hmm. Otherwise, I would go for that. Unless I'm, did I miss another one? No. I don't know if we can activate that. There's really no like electrical panel that goes to it. These are non-turnable. Can't move this, otherwise I would try to use the ladder for something. It's funny because you just did this part. I'm pretty sure when I did it though- Oh look, there's medical supplies in here. There's supplies in here. I'm pretty sure when I did it though, I um... I just- I did the jumping method, so I kind of jumped over using like one of these boxes. I can't do that in this one though because it's much more accurate, so I feel like I actually have to solve the puzzle. I don't know what the puzzle solution is though. Maybe I just flood this area with a bunch of stuff. And we just hope we can climb on one of these barrels. There are a lot of barrels over here. Oh look! Medical supplies! Sparky sees Windex. Do you not spray Windex on your cuts? That's what I have to do. Is that not the proper thing to do? You tried to mess with me. I know you everyone sprays Windex on their cuts. Stop messing with me. So like, here I am grinding for a boss fight to level up uh, my crap to get medicine before I die. Gotcha. We can't just break this gate, can we? No. I feel like I've seen it. And a guy got salted because I haven't leveled out my spirits, and I'm at the start of the game. People need to calm down. People need to calm way down. That's why I do not miss, uh... What's that barrel heavy? Online experiences. That guy can go fuck himself. Time's two. Oh, look at that jump! If I could only do that over here! Push the box that way. I wanna do that over here. Don't take my box. Stop that. Take me up! Take me up! I quit streaming for once since my air deadline. Oh, oh, wait. Did you say what's streaming? I was streaming for once since my air deadline. Oh, that's awesome! Hey, grass on the street. I didn't know you sure. Let me up! Let me up! Please! It had to be. It had to make it difficult to get up there. Was well, I do what I can? I get you. Go that way. Evil box. I'm trying to look this up. I have such a hard time. Let me know if you find anything on it. Because at this point, I'm just lumbering around, trying my best to like cheat it. What chapter is this? I think chapter. Sparky put away the crowbar, boxes, friend, not food. I'm not trying to, I had a gun before, a gun is worse than a crowbar. Um, can I see what chapter is here? It is... Unforeseen Consequences. Come on up. Jump! Jump! Do another one of those big jumps! Why don't you do the big jumps when I need you to? Ah, oh, come on, let me up! If I could do that on that one small segment where it has the hole, I would be golden. 
go that way. I can even jump in the box here. Woo. Oh, come on! Let me up! Pretty sure it isn't a solution. I'm forcing it to be a solution because I don't know the other way. <laughs> I don't know the other way around. There's a ladder near the health station. Is there really? Blue door. Okay, let's go back there. Not this one, right? Blue door. Blue door, blue door. No. Nah, that's not blue door. Let's see, there's a health station down there. I think it'll help. Um, back this way, right? That's how we get down here in the first place. Unless it was up there. Unless I'm going crazy. That'll bring us up there, though. a ladder. Blue door? Really? I haven't seen a blue door in a while. Oh, the physics really want me to jump out. I'll circle back. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna return back. He's back to harass the box. I'm gonna circle back. Maybe I'm missing kind of where it is. Whoop, up we go. And around. And this is the segment that we typically skipped, the parkour segment. So nothing there. Yeah, we get creepy music now. I didn't expect this music. Now I'm gonna crash the box a little bit more. <laughs> I can't figure out. You're fine. No worries. I th I'm pretty sure I can get about this method. It's just taking me a little bit of time. Has something to do with the water pass, right? Like I feel like we should be able to either like, turn them on in some way or affect them somehow. I just can't see the way of doing that. There's another right here. <gasps> oh, our box. No. Time for smaller box. I get a little bit of a bigger jump, jump for this. It's like an auto jump that's really sending us into the air. I don't think that's a big enough jump though. Shoot. Box slam, indeed. That was a bad idea. Of ideas that I've had. Oh, let me take that. I want that. That was one of the baddest ones. I didn't think it would explode, though. In all fair and honesty. Well, I can get the barrel up there. If only I could do that with my own self. New box. Magic 
<laughs> there is no command prompt. There is no uh, command prompt, right? Just no clip? There is no command prompt, though. Tilda. No Tilda. Oh, shit. Sorry. No Tilda. Disabled. Unless it's, uh... Unless I can set a key for it. Um, command? Source game, no tilde? They removed it? They might have just disabled the button for it. Choose team, all the weapons... Develop console, it's right there! I should be able to do it. Tilde. That's the button I'm hitting. Oh, you need to enable in the options. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, I feel bad doing this, though, because I feel like I can do without it. But, uh, does that turn off achievements? Here, we're gonna try it for three more minutes. If we can't do it in three minutes, then we no-click. I destroyed my box. What? You can do it without, but not the box method. Let's try to figure this out, because I feel cheaty with the other way. You can also do console to so launch the shortcuts, I think. Oh, I see. I'm gonna hold off on it for a second. So we should be able to figure this out. How difficult of a puzzle can this be? There's a thing here that we can't activate. I don't think it's this way. There's that and that. Nothing to mess with here. Toolbox. And close that door. And that's all that's there waterways. There's pipes going across. Can't seem to do anything with those. I can't actually get down in the pipes. As far as I can see. Doesn't seem like there's another way of going about that here. And these look like you can't get there. I do think that is everything that we have available to us. And then I'm just missing something stupid. Let me see if there's any boxes up there that are leading somewhere that we need to notice. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna absolutely cheat here. Just a second. Don't you worry. I just wanna be sure I didn't see miss something very obvious. And nothing back here. No. Nothing in here. I can't open that up. There wasn't a duct that was here, was there? No, I'm not seeing a duct. Because otherwise, I might be able to do something in there. Nada. And nada. Alright, let's go look for that setting. Um, enable artists always run Hyundai tinnitus. Enable Hyundai tinnitus. Oh, that's actually, yeah, let's do that. Well, maybe we'll look at that later. Enable fast weapon switch, iron sight sticky, enable classic iron sight. Ooh, grass here, god lens, yada yada. Nothing in there. Multiplayer, voice, video, audio keyboard, mouse, difficulty. Also, run easy difficulty. I didn't even notice that. Uh, let's add console to the launcher. Let's go about that realm. So unforeseen consequences, overwrite that. Exit out. Let's wait for that to start. There we go. Since I've been through this area, let me see if I can real quick watch a walkthrough to see if I'm missing anything. Um, I want to take a peek. Right, it's probably a very loud YouTuber. I'm just gonna go quickly check that water section because I can look it up. Because now, now the curiosity of me is peaked. So he goes up the waterway, up that path that we had goes into the maintenance area that we saw 
doesn't look like there's a button anywhere. They actually get stuck in this section for a while too. Um, but eventually... They circle back to the parkour section and do that again. There might have been like maybe a water control on the parkour section that we're missing? Perhaps. Nope, no, nothing in the parkour section. Oh! Wait. Except you can get into a maintenance area. Window capture. Here's a browser. Here's also like 20 tabs I open. Open. It's the part that I'm confused on. Right back here. He also does the parkour trick. He walks around though. Um, gets to the water section. Gets here. Goes underwater. Goes around maintenance section. Can't figure out how to get out. Goes back to the parkour section. Here. I guess goes through it again? Yeah, goes through it again. Tries to get into the security, nothing there. Go through the parkour section. Parkour, parkour. And then here's where my curiosity is. I guess at the end of the parkour section, he gets into this room here. Let's see what that is. Uh, oh, it's not the FTL soundtrack. Stop that. And get it to capture here. If it will capture. There it is. Establishing connection to the server. Does it constantly run a server in the background? Huh. Oh, it froze up for a sec. There we go. <gasps> Receiving game data. Alright, we're circling back here. That's where we want to get into. Minute section. We're gonna run through this. Very careful. It is unbearably warm in my room. Do you have a heater? Oh, do the thing. Yeah, so I don't like that. Let me try switching his sound to give tinnitus. I want to see how that sounds. Virtual desktop is so sick. I think I remember virtual desktop. Let me quickly give that a Google. Virtual desktop. So virtual desktop was actually a thing for when I had the Oculus dev kit too. It is, yeah. I miss virtual desktop. I thought that was the coolest thing when I, um, that was like the reason I was showing people VR is not only like you could do the various games and stuff like that, but you could literally have a desktop environment as well. Fact check 
So is the tinnitus... Vital signs critical. Let me turn that off. I don't actually know the difference there. It's supposed to be like the ringing, but I don't know if it comes in like later or something like that. Okay. We are very damaged because we let that guy attack us. I wish these guys sound like they used to. They sound different. There's an elevator. So this got us across, I believe. We're actually now officially across. That was the... Was that the door? That was a different door. It's a nine or seven. Did that get us across? No, that did not get us across. We're not across. But there's an elevator we can actually take, so there's progress of some sort. So, is that other area supposed to be inaccessible? Maybe that's what I'm presuming. Also! Spigoolers, are you watching me on virtual desktop right now? Hi, Spigoolers in cyberspace! Look around you, do you see the space? Can you hear me on the right side? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Focus, there we go. That area was meant to be inaccessible. I'm wondering if there's a secret over there, now we just missed out on a secret. But it's okay. It's okay, we're holding off anyway. Oh, sorry. Hold that. Oh, there's a guy that just got killed. Hello? Hello? Who's there? It's Gordon. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, go hide in the corner. What's that sound? Oh, those things. I'm watching you in a theater. Are you really? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. It's phenomenal. You took our friend! How dare you? Oh, there's a skull. You ate that fast. You better not be eating that theater. Hi! You better not be eating in that theater, Spookoolers. Oh, How are you? Gordon. If Hi. I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Yeah, thank you for not letting me in. Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. If we stay Do put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. I don't know about that. Right? Oh, he's gonna get gunned down by soldiers. I just realized that. Oh, because they're gonna tell him to kill on sight. Poor dude. Yeah, someone's bound to come and help us. Right? Right? Oh, they do do the little dance. Oh, I love face faceovers. With the constant flashlight, I don't even have to worry about moments like this anymore. They're not really so jump scary as they were before. Problem out of zone. It's good. God. Bad news. All clear has been given. If you are not in the evacuation zone, stay where you are. If you are within the evacuation zone, stay where you are. You will be murdered anyway. Get your nearest military officer to be euthanized. Oh, we're running out of ammo. We gotta stop shooting. Oh, it even has that sound! No way! I hate that sound. It's so jarring, which I knew was the purpose of it in the first place. Ugh.
Yeah, well, don't mind if I do. Yeah, that's the way back. Let's also unlock these doors since we were just here. These doors are now open. Anything we missed in this segment? Nope, I think that's it. Stay down. All right, man. I gotta go watch some lockpicking lawyer. I love lockpicking lawyer. He's a he's a delight. Enjoy the lockpicking lawyer. All right, we're gonna pick this high security lock in two seconds. <laughs> I don't know if I need that flare for anything. I would like to go in there, please. Hmm. This computer with the blue screen. Hey, hey! Over here! Over here! I need your help! What's up? One of these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. We gotta get that thing off before. Oh. Hey! Good news! Help just arrived! Wait! Hey! What the hell? I'm sorry. Thanks. I owe you one. Sorry about your buddy, though. Here, let me get this open. I, oh, uh, if we didn't kill him. I got some supplies in the back. Then, yeah, we want, might. Uh, Go take a look, see. See what Not you can carry. Supplies. That could have been his buddy. That could have been him. The scientist. Ooh, <laughs> don't mind if I do. <gasps> we can aim down sights? What? Also, there was a button in here. I wanted to check this. Black Mesa classic iron sights? I don't know what the difference is there. But, look at that! We weren't able to do that before, that's phenomenal. Yeah, bruv! That's smart. Look at that. You could do that in the first game, right? I, I was going... I need some medical attention. I'm not going crazy, am I? Okay, let's go for it. Oh, you can stay right here, you don't have to come me. Back. I'm afraid you are gonna die. Oh, I'm sorry for killing you, friends. I'm sorry for killing you. You don't deserve to die. You guys are slaved. Seek medical attention. I do need medical attention, my god. Power 15%. Poor boy again. Health back. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Now, I vaguely remember getting lost here too. I got lost in a lot of places. So, let's figure out where we go. I remember... There's a ladder, yes. I remember I was circling back here a couple times and I couldn't figure out. I was like, there's no way to progress here. There's nothing left. So we went back here and I think maybe we used that guy for something. Maybe he was supposed to unlock the door for us. I think it was just looking around often enough. I found a, a new pathway. Is it down here? I found that was left. Nothing down here. How you doing? You're heading out there? By yourself? Yes. May God have mercy on your soul. Let me turn this back. No, yeah, can't turn that back on. Right. You got stuck at all the places I got stuck before at. Okay, it definitely wasn't there. In there. I remember this being locked, but I just couldn't figure out a way to get in there. I don't think there ever was a way in there. The front desk. We got everything back here. No vent that we can enter. Okay. Oh no, I'm stuck! Okay, I'm good. Is this a different... No, that's the same thing. Okay, that's all the back area. Now this is the right area now. Can't get in this office. I don't think we can get in this one, no. segment we were just in. Okay, so that leads the only place left here. We must have to do something in here. Look at this. I can't move that. Can't open this door. Oh boy. I sense getting stuck again. I'm just getting stuck left and right, aren't 
Wi-Fi. Shoot. At least it's places I remember, but um, I don't remember the solutions for them. Can't get that way. Hey, does this vest make me look fat? <laughs> oh, you look so sad. Look at us too. Maybe something in here. Maybe I missed something. Ah, it's a one way. Can't control that either. Shoot. So once again, we missed a small detail somewhere. As far as I know, we've sweeped this room to, to completion. I know I don't have to hit E on these doors. I'm doing it anyway, though. There's a new way. Oh god, no! We're fine. Whew. We're fine. Virtual desktop is going to train me not to look at my keyboard real quick. It's going to train me to not look at my keyboard. What do you mean? I'm confused. I mean, you're gonna look at it. You're gonna forget where it is. Or. There's a way. I feel like I can. Hmm. I don't think crossing matters. If only we can push this over there. If I'd been in here, oh, it doesn't matter, it's the same way. I mean, I have a habit of looking at my keyboard while typing. Oh, do you? Oh yeah, that'll be fantastic for that. Yeah, gotta get that touch typing in. I found like I got pretty good at touch typing. It took me a while. My, um, WPM has decreased, but it will be better in the long run, this way. Maybe enter? No. This will quickly break me out of the habit? Agreed. I think that will very quickly break you out of the habit. <laughs> You're gonna be typing like a pro in no time. I swear I am slow at this. Maybe in here? I can't go there. Right now I'm doing okay. I'm letting you do it so far. Slowly but surely. Alright, come with us. Maybe I'm you have ready. a door you can show Let's us. Let's do this before I lose my nerve. I just want to make sure there's nothing down here. Nothing back here. Can't open that door. Open there. Can't open that door. This does nothing. Alright. At least in this segment, there's nothing. You come with? Maybe we go back to the beginning. That vaguely sounds right. We went through this whole section, we turn off the power, but I don't think that matters. Light there, but nothing more. It can't get any worse than this. Can you open that door? Or can it? Well, so much for wishful thinking. Can't go any worse? Yeah. Oh, here. All right. Yeah, you see, like, on up ahead. this out of this area. I would if have you can't no make clue. it back around, don't sweat. Just keep going. Alright, thanks man. I feel kind of bad for this dude. Oh, Alright, cool. There we go. I don't know why, uh I can see why I also forgot that. It just doesn't seem like it'd be something that I would, uh, remember overall. Also, what time is it? Oh, it's midnight. Okay. So we're gonna call it right when we get through this great. And finish whatever next. Shoot. Bad face over. Bad. Bad. What the fuck kind of maintenance ladder was that, right? Like, oh god. I don't even know what triggers it to open. I still have no clue. All greats. All greats. Yeah. I'm gonna call it here, so let me load that save. Can I not load quick saves? Is it F7? Oh, it's F7? They changed the button. Or maybe that was... Oh yeah, it is F7 in this game. Never mind. I'm gonna save it here, because I do need to go to bed. Because I gotta wake up early. 
And I want to watch one episode of Star Trek before I fall asleep. <laughs> so I'm going to save, leave the game. We're going to continue this probably soon. Um, I don't have a definitive timeline. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. Let me get the music back up. I have lots of FTL music here. Lost Ship. That one a good one? Ah, that is a good one. All right, well, thank you all for stopping by and enjoying. Hope you enjoyed Half-Life today. Be sure to check out Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Beverly Hills Chihuahua. It's the best film of the century. Also, I'm sorry, that looks a little crusty. Let me, uh, make that a little smaller for him. There you go. <laughs> anyway. Let me grab my activity feed here. And we're gonna find someone to host tonight. Find out who's here. You closed the dockable window. Thanks, thanks, OBS. I appreciate you telling me. Who's online right now? The only one on my follow list is Wine Sauce. What are they playing? Oh, they're doing Halo Reach. Oh, that's right. I forgot Halo came out today. So for anyone that is, go check out the Halos. <laughs> Maybe we'll play Halo at some point. I don't know. That's a baby. I. Don't feel like I would stream that very well. I'm bad at shooters. I'm bad at shoot games. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna chicken life. Go check out the chickies. Go say hello to them. And if you're able to stop by tomorrow, I'll see you then. Everybody playing Halo today. That's true. I know Wasabi's only gonna. Not, he probably isn't gonna be online today because he's gonna be playing Halo. A bunch of our Discord buddies are all playing it. Um, I don't think anyone in the in Odd Brew is gonna be playing it tonight, but he'll be playing it soon, I think, on stream. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate the help and the, the chats. All of you are wonderful. Um, and yeah, we'll be on tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have an early day tomorrow. We're having like a little Christmas party at the office. A little bit early because everyone's gonna be out for Christmas. Um, so, I'll see you all at a reasonable time tomorrow. Take care.